A clock. I didn't know it was a clock, you know. What do you mean a clock? You know, like a twelve three six nine kind of thing. I don't, I don't know what do you mean? The record. Yeah, I mean a a you gotta, a you gotta know your twelve o'clock on your record so you can come back to it. Well a lot of guys will um a lot of guys will uh mark the record with a piece of tape. Yep, yep. So they know where that, that way you know when it's it's pulling back and um yep. And um, and uh, you'd be able to like know your spots and shit. Yeah. But so I mean, yeah. In, in that in that regard, is this uh? By the way, I haven't cut my toenails in about seven months. What the fuck think. are you saying? Well, you know, I'm not wearing socks. People can see I'm playing this day. I'm sure. This, this white light's not doing any uh, favors for me. Either. What, wait a minute. What white light? Like? I'm wearing my and I'm wearing my Birkenstocks in honor of Jesus Christ this weekend. Oh, Cause more is, more about that lately. Because it is Halloween coming up. No, it's uh, Easter coming. Easter, Easter. yeah. The Come, don't don't be disrespectful. Halloween is in October. Correct. You're not wrong. How come? How come Easter always falls on a Sunday though? Like the way they do it, like because isn't it like the it's the same date every year, but it always falls on a Sunday, right? No, kind of like yeah, think, no, it's a different like Valentine's uh, Day. is the same date. It's a different. Uh, it always falls on a Thursday, you know, Valentine's Day. Uh huh. So uh, I was always really weird how they did that. Yeah. That's something. Uh, hey, everybody. Thanks for joining us for Roman Rec tonight. Having a good time tonight. It's a sharp picture. Sitting around. I know. I know. I sitting around. Um, yeah. Sitting around uh, playing some records, hanging out, having Don't some fellowship. Back, uh, it's been a good night of your hanging out. Did a little set earlier. We'll get into that momentarily. We got a great, uh, we got a, so to speak, that chip chat. We got uh, Steve Fevers in the house. Gonna, Steve, gonna give some, special some, guest Steve. Some, some, uh, some, some, some digs of the week. We, we, we got a lot of good things coming up. Looking for my tea bag. You know, you're, Steve? You know, um, earlier we were watching uh, with some of the... Yeah. <laughs> some of the music uh, uh, we yeah, were playing. Yeah. I can't fucking think. I can't fucking... I, I, I'm sorry. I don't mean to derail you. I'm sorry. I don't I want to keep think. looking at the television. That's my think. fault. 
I apologize. Go ahead. Go ahead. Here earlier while we we're playing some music, there was a. What do you have a hard time? What do you have a hard time like adjusting to? Box. Me? Yeah, like like what's been? I'm listening to four conversations at a time. Well, it's making my brain go sideways. Um. Anyway, no, no, no. Earlier we were watching. Uh, I was playing with one of the records we were playing. I was playing some uh, old Supercross footage and shit. I saw that. Yeah. It remind me. Uh, I went. To, last time I went to a Waffle House, there was this old boy out front. And he was telling his uh, he was telling his buddies a joke. He was like, uh, he "said you." Is this a true story? I think it's a true is. story. I, I, I think this is a true story. It's like you know you know why they call him Suzuki. Oh God! When they started up and go down that line, you hear Suzuki. <laughs> oh, my money back. Did y'all think that was the joke? That's not the back. joke. I'm just telling. I want my money back. I'm just telling stories. I'm just telling stories. Uh, I'm just telling stories too. Yeah, we know. We know. For a living, I'm telling stories for a living. Oh, yeah, hundred yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, percent. I, I slipped and told somebody the other day, like. Uh, oh, damn. You slipped and told somebody? Yeah, like we were talking to some. I was talking to someone at work about life. And, and uh, uh, like, there's these, there's a couple, another guy got in trouble. Uh -huh. Oh, in trouble? For the same thing. Got in trouble for what? Another hockey player got in trouble for the same thing I was telling you about last year. Uh, uh, oh, Jesus. Okay. And I told you about that. What's up, Paul? I told you about that, didn't I? You did, you did. Yeah, there was another guy that got busted. Uh, they just got out of prison. <laughs> Uh, I mean, it happens. And uh, yeah, and I was having a conversation with somebody, and they're talking about how you know people live a double life. And I was like, Yeah, you're telling me. <laughs> almost, almost said, "Hey, what do you think my whole life is?" Like, I come in here and like, no, <clears throat> we won't go down that road. But um, so that's why. What else you been up to this week? Oh, so let me tell you, man. My parents. Yeah. Uh, they tell me how weak I am all the time. They found how that, weak you are. Yeah, and and uh, my my mother actually finally convinced me because they, they think I'm a hy hypochondriac. Because I complain because my knee's been hurting me this week. Your knee has been hurt. That's why we're not playing golf and, tomorrow. Uh, by the way. Yeah, it's still a little better. But uh, I thought you were a little afraid after last week. Afraid, like. Mm-hmm. Um, and but no, they say we need to like go get some help about this, and so they sent me to one of those groups like. I guess like Alcoholics Anonymous, but it's like hypochondriacs, hypochondriacs anonymous, I guess. H-A, sure. Not H-O-A, but H-A. Correct. Uh, yeah, so I got there and like looked around, there was nobody there and like they said everybody was sick. <sighs> Another home run, courtesy of Jay. Home run. You're welcome. Yeah, absolutely. If the Reds hit another home run, you get a free car wash. Does Jay play Mike's golf car in Birkingstocks? Um, I've hit golf balls plenty of times in Birkingstocks. Yeah, sure. There's no G in Birkingstocks. I am going to try to get. I'm going to try to get through the summer with these, but I'm pretty close to. I got a. I'm gonna break down and get something. New. I got a pair of sandals. I got for free. I love no, sandals. They're uh, they're Tevas, I'm pretty sure. Tevas, I've thought about going nineties Tevas, you know. I yeah. might still have my old ones actually. Huh. Um but I had a pair what up of, old radios. Did you have a pair of the Tevas back? What up skinny artists? The nineties that uh, No, I never I never owned a strap it. there. Mm, strap. Oh I'm I'm very Michael familiar with them, but uh no, I've never owned a pair. But somebody got sent a double pair and gave them to me. So I, for real, I got a pair. I have they got the tags on them and everything. Cool. Yeah, sure. Sure. Uh, again, welcome to Girl Man Record Night. The place to be on a oh, hey, oh, fuck, oh, <clears throat> excuse me, a Friday night. We're gonna have a lot of fun over here tonight. Got a lot of good things coming. Can I help you with something, Steve? Uh, I just wanted to say you uh, uh, reaffirmed your uh, love of Christ. Do you not drink? You don't know what the you don't want the vodka out anymore. No, we can put we can put the vodka out. I don't want to tempt you. 
I'm, I had a little earlier. All right. I've not been, All right, I've, pussy. I've not been drinking as much this week, folks. I'm not going to make it a secret. I told you. I'm glad you finally watched the cross and switch blade. No, it's not that. Yeah. It's not that. It got it got through to you finally. Yo, Mark, what's up? Glass Orchid Aftermath up in this mug, man. Hey, if he might wants to, if he wants to what's tune up, in, baby? if he wants to tune in Monday at 5 p.m. No, we're watching the cross. We're not switch watching the cross. No, on Purpose switch. Six. No, go there Monday night. Hey, 5 y'all want to go to God's, God's Acre and on Sunday morning? What's sunrise, that? Sunrise, sunrise at God's Acre. A oh, Moravian. Moravian. Uh, yeah. Easter service. Sure. I hate Moravians, man. <laughs> I don't want to get into it. Moravians aren't real Christians. I fucking let's, hate Moravians. Let's stir it up. Let's stir it up. <laughs> no, they that thing that happened with a cheesecloth. I don't know, probably. That thing that happened when I went there one time. I, yeah, there there's some in there. Really? Yeah. Yeah, no, my, my ex wife came out of the Moravian church. That's where all this stuff came out at. We're in Mar- so oh, I don't okay. do Moravian churches. Uh, I didn't I didn't expect Moravians to be taking catching strays tonight, but here we are. You know, it's the way oh, it's the way the internet. Jay, Jay, you're not in, allowed within a hundred feet of a Moravian church. No, I'm allowed. They want me back. I just I'm not they going back. Steve's wearing, um, oh. Steve's wearing a glove. It's like a cycling glove, I think. It's uh, it's a fucking copper fit. What it it's is? It's an arthritic. It's a, it's a golf glove. It's a golf glove. Steve's playing golf. He's picking up the clubs, the wrenches, swinging the wrenches. What about you? What did you uh, did you have to go any any uh, AA meetings this week? Like, AA uh, meetings? Like for uh, hypochondriacs, like I did? No, uh, I that didn't do. happen. So you're not drinking though. I, I'm dr- I just took a sip of beer. Well, like you're not really drinking this past. I mean, week. I'm not. I mean, Am I stereotypical bananas? Dr- I, don't, I don't want to bring the vibe down. That's bringing the vibe down. Am I stereotypically bananas drunk right now? No. No. I don't know. But, yeah. you know, yeah. there's other things that f- a- a- afoot here. So, you know, I'm having a good time. Are you sick? Like, uh, are you having some health issues? Oh, I'm sick, brah. You ever heard the kid say that? So, what, let me put your hat on sideways. No, 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 no. Let me put let me no. put your hat on. Let me wear your hat no, the rest of the show. I want to wear your hat the rest of the show. We're good. We're good. God damn it. Um, you want this hat? Arn Anderson meetings. Me, myself, and my vodka. I'm drunk. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I mean, I'm not. I'm not sober, but I'm not. Uh, you know, I'm not sober. If you if you guys have been watching the show for any length of time at all, it ain't like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, some of them early ones, boy. I tell you what. You used to tie, what do they call it, tie ribbon on? I don't know what you call what it. What do you call that? Uh, I don't know, but I'd wake up in them fucking flower, uh, flower beds out there. Yeah. What do you say, there, Zorlock? Yeah, you and Carl wrestled that one time out in the street, I remember. That was some yard wrestling. There's, There's been some yard wrestling moments over here for sure. When you get those football pads we've been talking about. Oh, yeah. On that govdeals.com, I think I can get us some. Jay has hit me to govdeals.com. Tell everybody what it is. I'm not, Very, telling, I'm not telling these people what it is. Just say, all over. just say there's a website. There's a website where you can get government surplus stuff. It's out there because that's where we bought our Zamboni from. Okay. Uh, you can get government surplus stuff and you can find these oddball items and usually get them pretty cheap. But you have to be willing to go pick them up. That's the problem. Sure. Or pay an arm and a leg to get shipped. Yeah. You know, we paid almost as much shipping as we did for the machine itself. I'm sure. Goddamn. Seven hundred and like ninety bucks or something. I have to get it down here. Hey, quick mention. Uh, we watched uh, NC State close it out earlier. That's when me and, me and Jay went to the NC State. <laughs> you, ever, you ever a wolf? <laughs> Isn't that what the wolves do? The wolf. Uh. Oh, they should do them. They should do them where they put little like Ric Flair. Uh, uh, wigs on them and make them wolves. Oh, yeah. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Tracy Wilson was there calling the game. I saw her in a cowboy hat the other night. I tried to take a picture of her and send it to you, but it... <laughs> I'm glad you. I'm glad it didn't let you. <laughs> Your TV didn't let you do it. I got wolf blocked by my TV. <laughs> Your TV went. <laughs> Your TV <laughs> gave me. I took a picture That's of it. That's funny because it I'll... just gave me a Buster symbol. <laughs> That's funny because I tried to take pictures when I saw that Barbie movie streaming a few weeks ago, and. Uh... <laughs> It wouldn't let me do it on my phone, like uh, screenshots. Yeah, anyway. Uh, 
Uh, Aaron made $600 on that state game. God damn, boy. Good for you, Aaron. I was going to, actually, that's how I was going to do a parlay. On. He up here standing on business. I was going to take the money line outright, and I was going to try good to get question. third. Shut up. Good, we got a good question. Top three party schools in North Carolina. Number one's going to be ECU. Yeah. East Carolina, that's where the kid went. App, it says, app, it says app, ECU dad app, right there. App, Huh? UNC Apps UNCW. That's a big one. And at, Western's at, a pretty big one too. Yeah. I, I mean, Apps, at, they party it out. Really, right. ECU is the one that stands out. That's known as a party school. To where I had to tell the kid, like, look, I know what the fuck goes on at ECU, Duke. and I'm not saying don't have any fun, but you got to keep that head on a, you know, Duke. I went to, I went to a party at Duke once. Uh, with Jason Shepard. I've only been to Duke for professional reasons. You know, Jason Shepard went to Duke. No, that's right. Yeah. And he invited us to a party. He didn't drink, of course, but he he was entertainment. Uh, Duke, I don't, yeah, I don't know. Uh, Duke doesn't strike. They're, they're not a party think, school. No. I mean, they're just like another any other college. Oh God! Not. Even even better question. No disrespect. Coming in from our man Mark. Top three wrestling venues in North Carolina. Number one is Greensboro Coliseum. Venues. Hands down. I wonder what happens. Yeah. Like, over all time. Charlotte Coliseum is pretty big. Charlotte would probably the be number Charlotte two. Yeah. And then probably Fayetteville is number three. Yeah. Probably. That's what I would say. Greensboro Coliseum is number one. That's yeah. I don't want to argue about nothing. <laughs> Greensboro is number yeah, one. Cool um, History wise, Dorton Arena. I mean, come on, Aaron. I mean, there were a lot of stuff sure. there back in the day. Sure. Uh,. Dorton's up Fable's there. Bi- Fable's pretty big, though. Yeah, Fable's... Yeah. The Crown... The Crown... Co- whatever it the Crown... I saw a Raw there in 95. The what? Crown Coliseum, I think, is the name of it. Oh. Yeah, I saw a Raw... No, it wasn't 95. It was like 99. Th- it was in the height of Stone Cold. Shane said he partied at Duke, for real? Hmm. I saw a Raw, I saw a Raw there when they taped it and didn't run it live. That's mm. how long ago it was. But... But anyway, we um, th- dude, Steve, look on the, that cabinet there. Look in the bottom, the stuff that Finn would have used for baking, cookies. Baking? Oh, the bottom, bottom. It's if it's not in the bottom, it's up there where the cans and shit are on the top with like the sugar and fucking cookie mix and stuff. Yeah. They party at Wake. I have to tell you, a big party school was uh, Hop One. Hopwell University? Yeah, they probably I don't know. There. They're rich kids. Well, I'm I hate... like, I haven't been there in a couple months, but like, I used to go to parties. Might have to put the GMR in circle around Jay to make sure the nuts don't fly out. It's not a bad idea, Shane. Oh, these ain't going nowhere. Well, yeah, I went to, we'll just make sure. I haven't been, I haven't been to a party at High Point University though since like last semester. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we should totally do that. Get somebody to like let us know when there's a party at one of the local colleges and just show up like, what's up? Oh, I could find out because they all play hockey up there twice a week. How long would it take for somebody to be like, wait? Uh, that'd be funny as fuck, dude. That's what, I mean, that's all the fucking big streamers or fucking IRL streamers that do crazy shit. We should stream that on a fucking phone. Yeah. Stream us getting the hell beat out of us by a bunch of college kids. Then I pull out a gun and shoot a few of them. Then we run from the wall. But it's all oh, on the live no, stream. I can schmooze with them. I, like we can be cool with them. Oh, I'd be cool with them. But if they they, they start any shit, the shit, Jay, I may shoot them. I don't they know. Shoot, I think so. With a dart gun because you real shooting the, is against the bring wall. The beer, go in there with a keg on your shoulder. Walk yeah, the house like, they'll like that. I'm they'll, not carrying a fucking keg. They'll be your best friend. A keg and a carton of cigarettes, and they'll love you. Sure. I don't think kids, kids don't smoke cigarettes like that anymore. I think they smoke, like, Paw Malls. I don't think so. Anyway, we're mentioning NC State. They're moving on. We got that Groman record night bracket. Oh, yeah. Still oh. popping. I hadn't checked in on it. Yeah, I'm going to check in on it. Jay's going to check in on it. But I did want to mention that, speaking of speaking of which, also uh, baseball started up this week, which includes the Groman record night baseball drop. Which I've neglected to fucking keep the fucking photo in here, so I'll just pull it over here. But, um, that's being arm. Fucking Christ. All right, where's fucking that? Christ. Where's that? Where's that? Where's that? Yeah, there you go. Thank you, uh, Scott.
Scotty. Appreciate you, brother. I thought you pinned the link. It's not pinned, but it's... Uh, have to get back and find it. Yeah, so the two items we got for baseball season, which is going to be a limited time offer, if you're interested in some shit. Um, we got the Grown Man Record Night Hardball Tea. So, and what I love... Hold sorry. on, let me finish my thing here. Sorry. You got this in blue, you got it in red. The description says, show your GMR in pride while sucking down glizzies and salted nuts. If that's not a, an advertisement, I don't know what the fuck is, Jay. Mm -hmm. Also, you got the dad hat. Yeah. It comes in like a pale blue and a red to offset that fucking logo. And the description says, make all the bleachers bum call you daddy with this limited GMR and dad hat. Mm. Sure. Get yours right now. Is it weird? For a limited time only. Is it really weird that I feel like wearing that stuff would actually be a detriment to me? What do you mean it'd be a detriment? It's like I wear it to work and these people like find me and then they fire me for like being on here or something like that. If I've made it this long, baby. Mm. Okay, okay. Here's a here's an update. Okay, uh, update. Hold the bracket. Dudley Jones. <laughs> Dudley Jones. Did we, did we find out who that is? Leading the way in first place. Uh, Aaron Griffin in second. Uh, yours truly in third. Aaron in fourth. Uh, Mr. Bananas in fifth. Mine's blown Mr. up. Mr. Bananas in sixth. Uh, wait, how do I have three? No, I have two. I'm, I'm in seventh. Uh, Crouching Tiger Busted Bracket. I like that name. Base in base. Anyway. Don't be doxing people. Uh, Carl. Bringing it up to the number nine position. Sure. Uh, Gary Blurk in 10th, uh, Carl again in 11th, and uh, bringing it up the rear this year is Shane. Uh, yeah, okay, don't rub it in. I mean, I thought you were gonna don't, I'm not, I just want to know who Dudley James is. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was Dudley from uh, uh, did you see that thing I sent Dudley you from, from different strokes? Different I strokes, I did see that. Is that real? Yeah, I, it doesn't surprise me. I mean. I found this uh, real. Actually, I sent it to a few of you uh, idiots today. The um, I saw this Instagram reel, and I know the scene very well. Where uh, Will I remembered it? Once. Willis Jackson is in his bedroom. Arnold's hiding under the bed, and uh, I think it's a big deal because Willis had a white chick over there, mm -hmm. and they were hanging out in the room and shit. And, and Willis is a hell of a dancer, by the way. Yeah. Oh yeah. And so the girl's trying to dance, and then Willis comes up and starts dancing and shows off, you know. But the chick is Jan from the fucking office. If you and if you any been any office fans, Mother and it's crazy. Or something Harden, Melora Harden, or something like yeah, that. Yeah, crazy, crazy. Well, she's a very accomplished, not very, but she's a pretty accomplished singer. Yeah, like her husband's uh, something in the recording industry. Okay, like somebody pretty big. That's descriptive as fuck, Jay. Thanks for that but info. No, good, she's good comms, bro. She's a singer too, though. She's not just an actress. I don't even know if she did anything after after uh, Who's the Boss? Who's the Boss? Isn't that, sh isn't that the show we're talking about? No. Jan Levinson on? No. That's, uh... That's, uh... That's something. Um, wanted to mention... Let's see... Da -da 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 I put this in the Discord earlier this week. Uh, this is some big-time business right here. Excited for this, man. New Fu Manchu record. They're going to be coming out with their 14th record called mm -hmm. Return of Tomorrow. It's going to come out June 14th. And it's the the band's label at the Dojo Records. Uh, they had that their, their first double, I think, was the, the last. Was it a double or is this the first one? That's a double, because you got that last one, the one that came out in 2018. Uh, Clone of the Universe had that big Rush cover on it. I can't remember if it was. A, I think it was a single. Um, Some of the I, mean, I think this one's the first because it's the band's first ever double album. It's a sonic journey through massively heavy riffage, otherworldly space jams, and mellow rock anthems divided into two records. Yeah. Um, that's one of those bands that... Uh, Let me give you the vinyl deets real quick. 4,000 unit limited edition double vinyl version Return of Tomorrow. Pressed at 45 RPM. Um, packaged in glossy gatefold. That's why it's double. It's fucking 45. Yeah. Um, space colored LP. One sky colored LP. Now available for pre-order. You can get up on it right now. Yeah. Check out uh, how, how much, at the what, Dojo what Records. For, do you know? I don't know what the price is, but uh, excited to at least hear it and check it out. I ain't spending $50 on a fucking record. No, it'll probably like be uh, they do Rockefeller pretty, over here. They're pretty uh, fucking double forty. What's up, MT? Yeah, hundred percent. 
Point that's five. what double forty five. Fucking point. double, yeah, because that you know it. A lot of times those records can sound a lot better in theory, but then like two songs, you're up switching, flipping yeah, the record. That, that does I've got a radio head like that. Like you got my, awesome my chains like that. My OK computer and it sound my OK computer uh, repress sounds phenomenal, mm -hmm. but that is fucking irritating. Yeah, it is. But it is. that being said, I fucking love uh, I love playing singles and forty fives and shit. Kind of so. like hemorrhoids. In in what way? Oh, the irritating part. Oh, what'd you think? Get up and change it every uh, five minutes? I don't know. Change, like, change your pad? Whatever you do with your little stinky balloons is up to you, Joe. <laughs> stinky balloons. <laughs> that sounds like a kid's song. Little stinky balloons. Oh, I'm not doing that. I'm not. <laughs> Whatever you do I'm... with your stinky balloons. See, he's got, he's got a melody going on there. Yeah. <laughs> Very British sounding. Uh, hey Steve, would you uh, beer me? Uh, one Steve, of these things. Steve, thought about getting in the what's, kids' what's music Duke business. Carolina Gold Barbecue. Got that sent that from Texas like actually. South Carolina, right? Carolina it was Gold. sent from Texas, but um, Texas. Yeah, when my dad died, people sent a bunch of uh, crazy shit like that. Interesting. What do you need? Uh, just want a brewski. Was that former grocers that he used to deal with? Just no, it was my relative down there. She sent a care package with a bunch of like good food in it. Um, that was one she was just like kind of try it. There's also some candy ginger in there because uh, uh you empty. Oh, damn! How'd they Thanks. get her package? As uh, Jay, can I get you anything to drink? No, thank you, Steve. I'm good. Thank you. Uh. Can you show thank him you, the door, Steve? Steve? <laughs> oh, there you go. Um, yeah. So da 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 da. What are we watching, by the way? <laughs> what? What are we watching here? Uh, Zonkman wants to see some uh, Hellraiser. Oh, Hellraiser? Man, this is a gore movie, huh? Hold up. A lot of gore in this Hold movie. up. Um, Stinky Balloons was my favorite. Hey, new graphic, man. Check this out. Check this out, this new graphic. <laughs> nope, that was wrong. Badge poop. <laughs> You're just a sucker for that, ain't you, Jay? Just a sucker. I kind of like having this on. I can see the chat now. Yeah, it's that's it's what we call an off-air monitor in the business. But look what I'm reviving. Mm. Oh, yeah, a little in-the-news graphic. A new old graphic. That's what we just finished up. So I should have played it before, but that's yeah, okay. Yeah, that's all right. That's okay. Yeah. Next time. We'll get it next okay. time. Good morning. We'll get, we'll get it next time. Yeah. Uh, but some of the... Well, this is kind of the, the, the newer stuff that came out today. Um, let's see what's first on this list here. Um, oh, yeah. I got this a little out of order. That's why I'm a little confused here. That's okay. Big fans of this band. I wasn't really uh, too hip to them uh, until uh, several years ago. Actually, when um, Mr. Pilmer... Did a guest spot, which we hope to do again in the future. I hope to go down there and visit with him as well. Um, but brought a Chrome record, and I'd not really listened to Chrome before. Legendary noise rock pioneers, post-punky kind of stuff. This record actually came out just a few years ago. Uh, 13th record from these guys. I think it originally was like 2021, 20, maybe? Or something like that. But it's... Yeah. It's got some of the old school members. It's got some probably some fill-in members and stuff too. But I think the brothers back together. I don't know a lot about them, but I sampled a good bit of this today, and it's it's really good. The name of the album is called. How would you say that? Scropey. Scropey. Scarpy. 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 Sure. Uh, fiercely driven album propels uh, forward sonically twisted guitar noise, cascading synths. For a compelling recordings of the stored career, and I, I have to say, I know it's a newer, it's a newer joint, but I actually enjoyed listening to that today. No, the legend saw him. It's live, worth checking out. Says. Oh, really? You saw them live? Yeah, I really dig them, and I've, 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 I've mentioned it to some of you clowns before, but the. Um, Hi, Eric. Welcome to the jungle. Uh, Cleopatra um, has a chrome box set mm -hmm. that's just over like a hundred bucks or something like that. It's got like the first. That's a little crass. It's like six records or something like that. Yeah. And I'm, that's that's one I've really been tempted on. I'm not a box set guy, but that's something, because I don't own any chrome on vinyl. Uh, I think that'd be kind of cool to like. Um, and this is what now? Like hardcore? No. Uh, noisy 
post-punk stuff. Kind of weird. It's weird shit. You would say it was weird. This, they suck. They don't sound like anything. I, don't, I, I never They're out of tune. There's no. a lot of feedback. I don't understand. I never That's what say, Jay sounds like. I never say they... You guys ever heard Jay? No, That's what he sounds like. No, I never degrade the musician when I get to the show. I don't ever say they suck. You said Flaming Lips sucked earlier. I don't like their music. They're good musicians. I mean, but that's exactly what you said. This su they but suck. I didn't, I didn't mean it like that, though. I, I take that back about the Flaming. It's Lips. a weirder, off kilter song. It's a. Yeah, you know, I, I don't really hate the Flaming Lips. I say that just to get on people's skin more than anything. Well, you got under my skin, Jay. Well, good. That was. There, I got some pencil lead, and I got a little bit of Jay. That's, that's what I got under my skin. That's uh, that's what I was going for. Also, I, there's a few veins still left in there. Good. But I got some pencil lead, a little bit of yeah, J, and some veins. All those veins are filled with gin. I'm not, I'm, I'm not a drinker anymore. Or, well, gin, or jizz. Okay. Well, that's Because I know what you do in your spare time. That's why you quit drinking, because you let's reel that back. jizz in your let's stomach. Just re let's reel all this back in. Um, All right, that's in order. No, it's not. What? Jay's a contrarian. I'm... Yes, Jay's a contrarian. I don't know what that means. You've become the... <laughs> you know, what does that mean? I, I, I don't even know what that means. That's one of them big words. You've become the weather Dave of this show, Jay. What? How does that make you feel? What, a loser? A fat loser? No. Nope. A fat, bald... <laughs> a fat... All right, uh, this was kind of a big deal right here. Uh, actually, me and the Zong Man was talking about this earlier. Clutch uh, Transnational Speedway League Anthems, Antidotes, the Clutch Collector Series. I didn't realize this is their first shit. It came out in 93, and it's never been on vinyl at all until today. Is that uh, the Weathermaker label? Yeah, it's on their Weathermaker level. Um, level? Label. Level. You said it's level. completely remastered all this shit and the, the big thing is um Someone get seven seventy five hundred oh, units of this and it was pretty pricey what was his on 56 56.99 but it's limited sure to seventy five hundred units first of all you know what you know what you know what it's time for you know what it's time for I don't know. You tell me. I, it's I, your talked, show. I talked about this before. You're the decision maker. No one remembers. No, I've. Uh oh. It, there was oh a my god. Three hundred and some people that watched the real do. Oh, come on now. Come on. But it's time for a little. Pre Preach it, brother. GMRN editorial with Mikey Bananas. Now, I love Clutch. I've played shows with Clutch. Friends of yours. Friends of mine. No. Fellow band, fellow musicians. And they put out such great music, and I love that they're still old cats, and they're still picking up, putting down, releasing great music. Stamp it. You're going to come out with something that's never been released on vinyl before. Now you're going to release it now for almost 60 goddamn dollars because I think they're, it's, it's signed, and there's 7,500 units. Why don't you skip up to the roof and fuck off? I just, I don't care for that. Signed, I don't care for that at all. Signed unless signed clutch though. Oh. Unless oh, anybody that values their own signature is also a fuck off. Well, they gotta pay, they gotta make money. I mean, somehow. Yeah. You know what you do? You put out a record for fucking twenty three ninety nine, and all your fucking fans will go buy it, especially one that's never been released on vinyl before. That seems like a no-brainer. Even if it's black vinyl, it's not super limited, there's nothing crazy or I'm weird not, about hey, it. Listen, man. Now, look, look. Th this may be the plan. After this limited release goes away, maybe there's going to be a nice twenty three ninety nine pick it up on Amazon release that gets put out into the public. So everything I'm saying is fucking horseshit. If this is the only planned release for this album, fuck you. Fuck you. Well, it's like their job is like... Their job's to make music and people pay for that music and take it home with them. Skip all this fucking shenanigan yeah, bullshit. Yeah, but it's like, uh, you know, it's like uh, you're paying, you are paying 20 bucks for the record. Then you're paying, 
30 bucks to get a signed like record like uh it, yeah, to, but that's like, the only option but that's the that's the good thing about like Again, they, they got to make money somehow. I mean, they're probably not making anything on the record. That's the baloney. This is know? that's baloney. They're not going to make anything only selling seven thousand copies of a record either. That's silly. Maybe they don't want to. Maybe they're not going to release it like uh, major, like more than that on on vinyl. Maybe then that's, that's it. Then that's silly. Why? Why is that silly? Because you can then it'd be like worth five hundred dollars one day. What does the band care if it's worth five hundred dollars? They have mouths to feed too, I'm sure. But that they're they're not going to be the ones they're they're not the ones holding on to that single copy for five hundred dollars. That's our fans that have shelled out this money. No, no, I'm talking about it's horseshit. Maybe it's going to be released digitally. Though. Bananas was in the Eagles. Jesus Christ. Um, well, no, it's. You know. I was in a band called the Five L's. We were uh, we were a Jägermeister band, so we got to play with a lot of cool bands. And uh, I don't know if I ever told you. Um, most notoriously, we opened for uh, Mastodon, Killswitch Engage, and Slayer on Thanksgiving night in Atlanta. A little band, sl- a little tiny Slayer. I mean, we did get booed, but that's a story for a different time. Um, bologna is better sliced thin. I agree with that. What's up, E Dub? I've ever had oh, deli thin. I was in Lincoln Park's kid sister. See, these I'm I mean, I'm not I'm not up here to catch fucking strays. Um You look a lot better than Chester does these days. Yeah. Fuck yeah, pussy. Yeah, his life was so bad that he he fucking fucking whacked himself. You wanna compare notes, fuck face? Yeah. Do you, really, do, you, do you really take notes of your life? Oh yeah. You should. You should start you should start writing a diary. They're real smeared though. You should start writing a diary every night. I got locked out of my diary. You know the ones that come with a little key? That's a true story. I bought a diary when I was a little kid. It came with that little key and I got I got locked out of my own diary. I should have known everything was gonna be downhill from there moving forward. Uh yeah. But yeah, anyway. Uh yeah, that clutch record. I mean, it's cool. I'm I'm super glad this is going to be available. I was a little disappointed in the, in the uh, initial offering here. But again, this may be a a, a a mute point. I'm supposed to be doing a clutch tribute this year. Hell yeah, oh, a tribute. Dave. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be cool. With Dan. And they're I mean, from what I can tell, they were good dudes even though we about got in a fight with them, but we about got in a fight with everybody. So you can't take anything away from that. Actually, we didn't get to fight with Clutch. We back got to fight with their uh, bouncers or their uh, their crew. Their crew was kind of douchebags. They were a little much. They were a little much. We had a we had a cooler of beer that we left in the green room. We just wanted to slide in there and hey man, we don't bother just reach in here and grab our cooler. And they were like trying to like put us on put us up against the wall and shit. And well, that's not it's not advisable. <laughs> So some things went sideways, but anyway. What did you do? Did you kick their ass? No, I, I, I actually wasn't even involved in that situation. Oh, did you fuck them up, man? O- officially. Did you fuck them up the ass real good? We wasn't officially, um, wasn't officially uh, involved. Uh, what am I doing here? Full screen on a weekly still. Boom, boom, boom. Where's this one I've been... Tr- oh, yeah. This is the one I skipped earlier. I, this is a brand new one on me. I'm going to... Best. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a wild card on this Jay. I'm going fucking wild card on this one right here because I, I had no idea wild card about this record until it popped up in my feed today, mm-hmm. and the cover kind of cover kind of intrigued me. Yeah. The name of the shit is uh, Gal Costa. Mm. I, I may be mispronouncing this. I don't know, and it's Gal 1969. I think this is the. Second, um, the second release from these guys are from her. It's this chick from Brazil. Okay. And um, so I started listening to it, and it, I, I read this description that was so fucking spot on. Um, I see this is released uh, da, 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 months after the first one, which was just self-titled. Um, sometimes referred to as Cinema Olympia. 
This is what critics consider her most psychedelic and experimental album. That intrigued me, so I went and started listening to it at that point. Then I read this description. The Pitchfork reviewer described the album of the equivalent of Barbara Streisand record recording with boredoms and one of the uh, heaviest documents of Tropicalia. That's what it sounds like. It's like a tripped out Barbara Streisand with a bunch of weird, bloopy, bleepy, Tropicalia uh, vibes like behind it and shit. It's fucking crazy. Kinda it's like, it's uh, worth a listen. It's 100% a wild card. I, I okay. Wild card. wild card. No P. Diddy? You know, I was going to play... Um, I shipped all my P. Diddy records overseas. I was going to play Mo, Mo Money's Mo Problems tonight. I got that single and yeah. I forgot. Yeah. I thought I told you that we won't stop. That's, what'd he do? Was he in the news or something? Yeah, sure. Um... Oh, I thought about the old cameraman when I saw this right here. Uh, Stereo Lab, which is, uh, that's that's the two. Stereo Lab. Right. He got a Stereo Lab up and um, we went to New York. New York. This is Aluminum Tune switched on volume three. It's a triple LP pressing. Uh, when this this album, it came out on CD in 98, but it's got, it's a bunch of unreleased um, and rarity kind of bullshit, just kind of really weird stuff. And they've done... Um, they did switched on and refried ectoplasm uh, earlier this year or like a few months ago. Maybe it was late last year, but uh, stoked to see this coming out because this is this has got some weird shit on it that are just not on any other like Stereo Lab stuff. So it's worth checking out for fans of the Stereo Lab, especially looks, on vinyl. Looks pretty rad, man. Hell yeah! Are you a Stereo Lab guy, Jay? I don't hate what I've heard. Yeah, you know? it's good stuff. I can get down with it for sure. This is something. Uh, this kind of popped up, and I was just like, "Man, oh, yeah. I, I don't need necessarily this yes, version." Yes, you do. You do. No, you I don't need this know. version, but I need this record. And I actually jammed a bit of it today too. Yeah. The Revenge of the Nerd soundtrack. Yeah. Now don't laugh. Now the, there's one glaring oversight with this soundtrack that is why I haven't went out of my way to pick it up before now, and it actually really pisses me off. But the the, the shit on it. This is some. Uh, it's a 40th anniversary Lemonade Swirl that came out. Mm. Um, this is a Andre, Andrea and Hot Meek, Yaya, Bone Symphony, The Rubinos, uh, Gleaming Spires has a couple of tracks on here. But the biggest problem with this soundtrack is you don't get that song that the nerds do at, at the, the carnival. End of the, end of the, the song. That's what you want. Is this an official release? So clap your hands, everybody. Yeah, it's an official release. Burr, beep, 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 beep. Like, that's not fucking on there. Oh, Are like you Sony, fucking kidding Sony me? Records or something like that? Is that who this is? This is literally the only one I didn't write the label down on. And that's the one you asked me about. Well, it's a literally major motion picture. I mean, I would assume it'd be like Sony. Or major whatever. motion picture? Yeah. Maybe. Are you ready for the sex girls? It could be on Capricorn <laughs> Records. Let's Who see. Are sex girls? Uh, for the, some of the punkers out there, this popped up. And I thought it was kind of neat. Uh, something kind of weird and off the beaten path to mention. Uh, Chaos and CH, Volume 2, which Ooh. I missed Volume 1. This is Underground Swiss Punk. Second volume of this kick-ass compilation of gems from old punk rock and hardcore Swiss scene. Uh, from classic and awesome punk rock sounds, the Bastards, which is the only th this is the only one I knew uh, on this was the Bastards, um, and then they got uh, the first generation of hardcore, the Squirt, uh, that, 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 that comes with a twelve page booklet, Him, Gang, Baramine, Santa Publique, Six Pack, and Vitrol. I I don't know those bands, but I knew the Bastards, and uh, I sampled <laughs> I sampled the shit. Um, at least three or four tracks, it was pretty cool. Kind of a swath of uh, kind of that earlier punk rock sound mixed with some, uh, some hardcore shit. Yeah. It was good. It was good stuff, so check it out if you're into that kind of yeah. shit. And finally... Yeah, no, I like that kind of stuff. This No, you don't. <laughs> I, no, you don't. I'm just trying to make conversation, man. Well, you're doing a I'm just trying to make job it generic, you know? Like vanilla. I almost set that thing over on you. The, what? Oh, that, oh please don't goodness. do that. That'd kill me. It's my last news in this can. Man, it would kill you. <laughs> out of your misery. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> we need a tape. There's no tape. Where? Where? I, it, literally anywhere. There's no tape on the floor? 
What's this, WrestleMania? Sure. Um, this is the one I was probably the most excited about uh, that I stumbled onto today, and I think I'd read about this before. Um, Mario Lolly, who's a good, close, and personal friend of mine because I have his email address, his, his phone him. number, and his um, and his uh, physical Social? address. No, he, he he mailed me some tapes and sent me a free one because he's such a cool fucking dude. Was there and I was, was I was there something handwritten on there? You got that? Yeah, I, I saved the envelope. I'm. I was glazing the shit out of him uh, in an email, but anyway. Did you ask him like if that was him that did all that? No, I knew it was. His return address is M Lolly. Like it was him. Maybe he's got a secretary. Because I emailed him and he emailed. I said, "Hey, I hadn't received my shit," and he like responded back from his actual email. I was like, "Oh, I'm sorry, man. I've been on tour. I'll send him out tomorrow." And then he sent me an extra one. Yeah. Anyway, new like super band. It's got Mario Lolly, Brant Bjork, Sean Wheeler, and Ryan Goot. This is some fucking, some of the biggest pioneers of the desert rock scene all together. And I didn't realize when I first started listening to this, this seems to be a live album. Okay. Um, first release from this band of pioneering desert rock musicians captured the band in its purest form, exercising the uh, desert born uh, ethic and approach of rock. It's psychedelic. It's, it's, it's out there kind of winding. You hear the, um, the kind of noodling that you may hear in like like a Yawning Man record, but then you hear some of that like uh, that Brant Bjork sensibility, and just in terms of like uh, kind of a rhythm guitar kind of sound behind it. That Brant Bjork's got that style on guitar, even though he's a drummer. But that the stuff he does in his solo stuff, you could hear that laid down in there. Um, it, it, it's out there, but it's got some solid solid riffage. And if this is actually a live show, which I think it does say it is. Um, it's fantastic. I, I would really check this out, and um, especially if you love that desert scene. This just oozes desert mm. all over this. Yo, Thumbfinger, what's up, baby? Um, but yeah, that shit's... Um, I was really impressed with that. Good stuff. Okay. Hell yeah. Books, check them out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's time to get a little bit of what we played. Oh, wow. Um, so I ended up doing a, a set I'd planned out a little bit tonight at the very end, but started out with some other, uh, some other nonsense. I, I don't know where the hell Steve is. I think he's, I think he's changing his man pond, but oh, nice. cause this is, um, let's just say he's old and he just ate spicy food. Oh, there we go. But, um, <laughs> This is a record that we were really um, we were really turned on by like in the early record night days. And it's funny, and then I remember a time where we revisited the record and didn't like it at all. And so I've not played it for a really long time. I put it on tonight, it was the very first record. I was like, ah, let's, let, let me revisit this. I was like, if it sucks or I'm, I'm really not into it, mm -hmm. at least it's the first record. I can get into something else. There won't be as many people watching. I can kind of move on, whatever. Mm -hmm. And this was fan fucking tastic, and it's not a record I've ever heard anybody else talk about. It's called Natural Gas. Oh man! It's on Freebird Record. Oh. Well, I already like it. I want to say Freebird. it's a Canadian band, and I think I remember us trying to describe this as Prague or something back in the day, like early days of record night. And it's not. It reminds me of like it's got a, some horns in it. So it's um, An Atlanta, Atlanta rhythm. Section. No, think like Chicago or Blood, Sweat, and Tears. Yeah, okay. But the good shit. Yeah, first it's couple, really good. First few records. Um, it's a really fantastic record, man. And I, Casey and the Sunshine Band. That's no, one. no. Steve is strangling somebody with his gloves on. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. It's a matter of time. It's only, it's only a matter of time. Yeah. But yeah, if you've uh, looked this up, man, if, you, if that seems like if you're a Chicago or a Blood, Sweat and Tears, like horn rock, if you like that horn rock shit, check check out Natural Gas. I want to say they're Canadian, but uh, I hope Steve's not in there doing a, a Michael Hutchins like from In Excess. OK, we, we're not getting into we, that. We're not God, 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 whacking off like uh, <laughs> choking himself, whacking off kind of thing. These yeah. were the boys that were whacking in my shed. <laughs> <laughs> Bork, your United States federal agent, never into sentence with a preposition. Oh, man. That's one of my favorite movie quotes of all time. 
Bork, you're a United States federal agent, never into sentence with a preposition. What movie is that from? Beavis and Butthead, Do America. I didn't really like the movie all that. That's the, uh, that's the, 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 the agent that's uh, the guy from Unsolved Mysteries or whatever. Yeah, Robert Stack. Yeah, Robert Stack. He, he, he delivers that line. It's yeah. fucking I didn't I didn't on. like the movie nearly as much as the, the show. No, me neither. I never liked that. Hot take for a lot of people. Like the Monty Python movies. Oh, I hate that. Pale in comparison to the Flying Circus. I don't know anything about the TV Monty show. Python. You don't like it? It doesn't make any sense. These guys are silly. I don't no, know. Why. I watched. Uh, I watched a British. Comedy. That's not a joke. I actually watched a British sitcom, comedy sitcom, from the redundancy department of redundancy. Well, a situational comedy. Yeah. Um, a comedy sitcom. Yeah. Comedy so situational one. comedy. Yeah, that's sitcom. the one. Uh, but no, I, I I watched one on uh, Pluto actually like a couple weeks ago. It was pretty entertaining actually. Like you know. As long as you can understand them, like the those out with a thick northern accent, you know. Well, there's a Canadian, uh, pretty popular Canadian one that's out there on Netflix. I think mm -hmm. is it Netflix, like a Canadian kind of. Uh, Trailer Park Boys. Well, there's that, but th there's like one that's like a the IT crowd. Maybe that's what it is. It's British. No, that's not what it is. It's... That's good comms out of you, Jay. I don't know. The twit of the year, Ministry of Silly Walks, Confuse a Cat. I mean, we can go on and on. Letter Kenny? We're talking about Letter Kenny? No, no, no. It's... We do like some Letter Kenny. Keeping up appearances? Maybe. It's pretty popular. I mean, I don't know. Downton Abbey? No. What in Downton Abbey? I said Downtown Abbey for a long time. Downtown Abbey. How about a little Hind Rocks? Electric, electric Larry Land. <laughs> That's fantastic. Steve. This is a fantastic. It just, it don't get no better than this, man. And what a clean ass copy. Hey, Steve. Thanks for fucking sending that fucking shit in right there. Um, is that Elvis on the back? No, it's not. That's Jimmy Hendrix. Take it easy, man. I ain't gonna club you. This is, that's uh, one foot was that in the grave. Was, oh. was this one from after he died? Gonna be living one foot in the grave. What year is this? Stop asking me things. No, How about no, no. that? Tell me. How about stop asking me? No, things? this isn't posthumous. Uh, no, it's not posthumous. Uh, this would be a second record. This is probably what, 67? Something like that? Don't stop asking me things. 68, man. Pulled out a little psychedelic furs. Yeah. Forever now. Love this record, man. I, like I don't remember where I got this. I like the furs. I like the furs. I'm a big fur guy. Uh, this is actually the only one I have on vinyl, though. Uh, and I've had this for literally forever now. <laughs> I've had it for a long time, for sure. Um, when me and Cameron first started this show, this was this was not... Got that pretty soon after that. Kids in the Hall was great too, 100%. Kids in the Hall. What? That's my house! Yeah, I never really got into it, but I didn't hate it either, though. Like, I didn't think it was bad. I just never. How much does it suck that we're now older than he's, he's hip, he's cool, he's 45? That's kind of sad. There's a lot that makes me sad right now about life. Yeah. You know, you, you want to compare notes? <laughs> oh, 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 mine's oh. all smeared. Uh, oh, man. The Wizard of Vidya Games cashing some double Bs uh, uh, tonight. We wanted to hear some Priest in honor of Easter. Sure. 100%. And he said, my choice. So I pulled out this British steel. And I was talking about this earlier with these guys. I visited this... Um, Why was this in honor of Easter? I just... He was just just that doesn't make any sense, though. I mean, he was joshing around. You ever, you ever, like, you ever josh? You like to, you like to sit reference, around and josh? That's not a reference to Jesus on this. No, you like to sit around and josh? He was joshing around. I don't like that term. Josh. Detroit Dan. With the Submarino, courtesy of an anonymous gifter. <laughs> you get that yellow pickle. It's really sad. Thank you, anonymous gifter. Fuck. Oh man. Do you say something stupid every top of it to distract them? 
Wait, never mind. Um, Thank you, dude. Not, Whoever anonymous. I gifter. just wish that anonymous gifter had better things to do with their time. No, I don't. I don't. Really? Thank you for that. Now was a great time to remind the the stream, Jay. Don't cost them anything. Hit that like button. Sure. What are we? How many people we got watching? Thirty we, people. We, what do we got? Four likes. What do you hate us? Well, we we love like buttons. You hate us? Is that what it is? You hate us? Like there's two. I mean, I get it. I believe me, I get two it. Things but. I love most are are the like button and life itself. You're trying to trigger that algorithm so we get some more hateful comments. Um, Bridge steel, huh? Yeah. What'd you think? Oh, no, I was telling a story, and then you fucking interrupted me like goddamn fucking normal. What kind of story were you talking? So I picked, I went to this spot. It's a, it's a small town from here called Lexington, North Carolina. And I went to this little downtown shop that I'd found uh, just doing some research because I was going to be doing a little work down there. And it was this shop that was really cool. Um, I, I, the pictures I saw were really cool. And they had records for sale. But it was kind of a... Um, it, it, it was kind of a... Um, um, just a retro, a, a little shop, a little boutique that celebrated retro kind of culture. So they not only had records, they had cassettes. I actually bought some cassettes there. Um, they had like old radios and like rotary telephones. They had retro video game stuff. And it was a cool place to just walk around. Mm -hmm. uh, just as fun as it was to like dig through stuff and look for stuff to buy. Because the, the whole atmosphere of the place was really cool. And I wanted to support them because I thought they were doing a really cool thing, you know. Mm -hmm. But the records were a little bit goodwillish. No, well, some of them, or some of them price. looked like goodwill, but the price was like, uh, oh yeah. And I, that's one of those I want to help them out, but I'm also I'm like I'm not a fucking schmuck, so I don't want to spend schmuck kind of dollars yeah, on something. Like, Roy, like a Roy Rogers record for so, like uh, nine bucks or something. Uh, yeah. like that. So they had Roy Rogers, what a roast beef record, Jay? Are we talking roast beef records now? But no, the, Cowboy, yeah. so they had British Steel in there. It's it's a priest I didn't own. They had twenty bones on it, and I was like, ah oh, man, I want this, but fuck off. And then I I started poking around online, and I was like, for this pressing, this is actually under what it's coming in at at Discogs, like it, under anything that was for sale mm -hmm. in any condition, mm -hmm. and this was in pretty good condition, not great. So I was like, you know what? I'll go ahead and I'll help these guys out. I'll drop a fucking 20 spot on a record. Probably help it's a little, some un unfortunate people or something. It's a like yeah, that. I mean, you know, I know it's str it's you struggle to run a shop like that. It's very niche, super niche, but a cool shop nevertheless. And I wanted to help out. They didn't go to business school. I mean, let's not kid ourselves. Probably not. You know? I'm guessing yeah. Home of barbecue. You got that right, A dub. Hell yeah. Home of barbecue. That is the where? home of barbecue. Where? Lexington, baby. What do you mean, where? What the fuck is wrong with you? Um, we were talking about, uh, Zongman showed some morphine last week and I pulled this one out. He's like, how about pu playing this shit this week? The, uh, the yes record for morphine. Yeah. I had to play this. Um, and it, uh, what a great, fantastic record. Steve. This was actually a, uh, this was actually a Goodwill, uh, score for me. And it was super pristine copy of this until my idiot cat got a hold of oh, it. Oh my goodness! And uh, no, 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 don't call. Take that back. Don't call them idiots. They're good cats. It was Corky, and he's a oh, he's a, oh, he's he's the best. He's now. a he's a. Let's do a shot. We can do a shot. Let's do a shot. Jay, you can't get up from that chair unless you do a shot. All right. Yeah. Um. My. Let me grab my glasses by the room. <laughs> What? Unfortunate Support your local unfortunates. They didn't go to business school. Yeah, that's something like that. Oh, it's something like that. Underprivileged. Oh, this is brand new here. It's brand new because I've not been drinking liquor this way. Yeah, Mike's been clean all week, Steve. Have you heard the news? It's colon? I don't know. I think it's health related, but he's not saying. Um, I'm. I'm. You. Yeah. I was wondering about the bloody towels. I'm turning over a new leash. Oh, no. no, no. Trust me. That's pretty normal. <laughs> uh, oh, we got one more, Mike. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Sorry. No, no, no. 
Stevie B in the house. Stevie B. All right. What's the song? Stevie Best B burgers about? in the area down at Stevie B. Because yeah. <laughs> I love you. Was that Stevie uh, B? No other uh, words can say. Got people wondering where's the hop A, Steve. What's that? People hop wondering a. where the hop A is. Hoppy still MIA. Where is that? No, it's not. What's Hoppy? <laughs> hop A. What's Hop A? I got, I got one. Steve's really nose like. candy. His South American nose oh candy. Oh, my God. Mulatero. You're not back on that, are you, Steve? All right. Cheers, everybody. Do the shot. Pick up the shot. <laughs> cheers, everybody. <laughs> All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Congratulations, by we'll the way. We'll keep rocking and rolling. Congratulations. Yeah. For what? You know what I'm talking about. what I do? No, no, just go ahead. Go ahead. Not drinking? You, no, 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 for the thing earlier this week. what I do earlier this week? No, just go ahead. Go ahead. What the fuck? No, go ahead. We'll talk about it later. Pulled out a little tad, God's balls. Oh, wow. For Easter? <laughs> no, not for Easter. So far, I've... <laughs> didn't God God arose? <laughs> we'll get we're, we're like one, you're one record off of this. <laughs> one record off. Cheers. Also, press play on the VHS. We oh, got, thanks, uh, thanks. Oh God, <sighs> who's Vag Poop? <laughs> don't worry about. It. Don't be doxing people. <laughs> Can we call him out? Let me call him out. Can we open up the phone lines tonight? You can open up your phone line. Okay. All right, I'm gonna say this one time, write it down. 336-284-8426. Three, three, four, four, okay. So what are we watching here on VHS? Oh, this is myself. Uh, highlights for myself. This is Jay's kicking highlights. We watch this from time to time. Uh, this was unearthed about uh, a year ago. Yeah. It's good. Uh, hey, what do you think of the new kickoff rules, Jay? Tory Holt's on here. The new He's, NFL kickoff rule. Tory Holt's right. I tackled him. He's on one of these. Yeah, what's, what's your thoughts on the new kickoff rule, Jay? Oh, I can care less. I don't, really have, I don't have an opinion. No, the, the shitty thing was uh, the tackling thing. That's the shitty rule. That's a shitty rule. That's a shitty the rule. The horse... No, what do they call it? The drop, hip drop the hip turn, whatever. Terrible. Oh, shitty. Yeah, you can't tackle, like, from grab people by the hips and bring them down. Like, from behind. Why not? Because too many people getting wrapped up, they say, like, ball carriers. It's a blood sport. Let it happen. I wish they'd kill each other. That shit's getting soft, man. I ain't watching. Ain't, ain't no daughter going in that big bathroom there. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no, my, ain't no, ain't no lady gonna watch my woman piss. You ain't gonna go to that bathroom, my daughter. I tell you that much right there. <laughs> you let me catch out there in the parking lot, I mean, like, pulling that shit. When I, when I used to, when I used to play, man, we played. No. <laughs> <laughs> Suzuki. Oh, called for. <laughs> oh man. So I did. I did do a special set uh, to finish off the stream tonight, or not to finish the stream, but to finish the portion before the show here. I did do a little set for the special occasion this okay. weekend. Yeah, it was special. And uh, this was a tough one, though. It wasn't tough. This was not tough. It's trying to pep it up a little bit. Well, man. I mean, I'm sorry, I'm it just wasn't, trying to inflate it a little bit. It wasn't like super it was cryptic, deal, but know? some people weren't, weren't getting it, so I mean, it's okay. But it, it took a few, and that's all right. I, that's what I wanted. But, uh, I mean, I thought for some people, if you know Bride, you would know right off the rip, possibly. Mm -hmm. Started off with Bride, and we played, uh, I'm going to put my regular glasses That's on. Christian metal, metal, right? It's Christian metal. It's Christian metal. Yeah, I don't remember. I don't recall them. And uh, I played uh, Out for Blood from the, this is the second Bride record, uh, which is really good. It's a really good Jesus metal record. Where is Bride out of? Do you know? Uh, I'm not sure, actually. Um, so the theme was Jesus. I looked up and I looked up like, uh, like Jesus in rock music kind of stuff. And some of them are a little more ham-fisted than other ones. Some of them are a little more cryptic. 
Um, because we've done some of the more down the middle stuff before. This is one I never really thought of, but um, Crystal Blue Persuasion by Tommy James and the Shondells. Yeah, that's one I didn't really use. You gave me a sneak preview. That's got some super Christian and, overtones. And I didn't know that. the songs. This one didn't help me guess. So. Right, that one. That one would not pull you in. Our Lord and Sailor. Uh, correct. What's that supposed to mean? I had to pull out this fucking sweet reissue just got sent out for the uh, Mob Rules, Black Sabbath, and uh, played Signs of the Southern Cross. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can't go wrong there. No, it's a great song. This is uh, this is something that I shelved literally on Sunday that's been sitting down here. Scotty brought this gave it to the program when he was up here last it's a it's a great band i've heard a lot about and i've streamed them a bunch but uh throughout the years i never owned any on vinyl spaceman three and when i was looking up the the uh, i think it was like an uh av av uh geeks uh list so it was like a lot of like not your run-of-the-mill songs and one of the ones they pulled up was something that Scotty gave from Spaceman 3 from For All the Fucked Up Children of This World, We Give You Spaceman 3. And I played the song uh, Walking with Jesus. Great psychedelia shit from, uh, this is uh, from 95 is when this originally came out. Oh. 95. Really killer stuff and played Walking with Jesus. Walking with Jesus. And we welcome Steve Fever. Hey, everybody. To the Grown Man Record Night set. What's going on? Fuck, I can't call it. Got an OBS here, but I know we're not doing chip chat. Sure. I'm hungry. Sure. Okay. Um, you can get the, you can get the, uh, the red dinamitas now in the big bag. You know what they say, better red than dead. Well, the green, they dropped the red, and then they put this, they put this powder on every other Lay's product. And then they brought it. Now they're, they've come full circle. Brought it back. Okay. They call it flaming hot. It's funny. Steve sits down right now, which is the perfect time because in the middle, I, I asked Steve to bring one record for the set I was doing, and it was a. I had an empty turntable, and I was ready. It was a perfect time to put this in. Can you get Jay's head off my crotch. Oh yeah. Well, momentarily. <laughs> in a priest-driven ambulance by the flaming lips, and played the first song in here called "Shine on Sweet Jesus." Jesus song number five. Mm-hmm. This one, Jay was like, oh, that sucks. <laughs> but this was some fucking early, early ass um, flame and lip stuff. Yeah. When, when did that come out, you know? Oh, no. It's probably like the third album, maybe? Yeah. But no, I can't tell you right now. And I don't have my real glasses on. I don't want to go get them. So, Hell yeah. Now, this is the one that I thought may... Th a lot of people had already kind of figured it out at this point, but th I thought this may be one that would throw folks for a loop. Why did I get bumped? A record I really don't need an excuse to play because I fucking love this record. Like fucking hell. God, I love this record so much. Mr. Mister, welcome to the real world. You may be thinking, what does this have to do with Jesus? And I would have never thought so either, but it came up on a list. Oh, it's Kyrie, the last one. Kyrie. Kyrie, lesson, Kyrie, lesson. And I didn't realize, let me see what it says exactly here. So. Where's my shit at? God have mercy, God, or yeah. Lord, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Yeah, the refrain, Kyrie Elysian, Kyrieleison is Greek for Lord have mercy and is used frequently in early Christian liturgies. Yeah. I sang a number of masses that's like, you know, Brahms or Schubert. And there's always, if you're doing a mass, there's always going to be one section is a Kyrieleison. It's very structured. And Don't I, know I think not. that's no, I that's almost a perfect pop record for me. It's so ooey gooey, sleazy, poppy that I just fucking love it. It's it's a it's it's hit after hit. 
Now, if you don't like them, you just don't like them. But like, for me, if you like one of those songs, you probably like fucking all of those songs. And I, I, I love the fucking Christ out of hey, it. I got a question for the crowd. Sure. Are any of you guys familiar with a, a band from the 80s called Baton Rouge? It was a rock band, hair metal. Rock and a roll. A good, like, straightforward rock band. The guy that plays drums in our Vagabond Saints for years, Corky, he was the drummer in that band. Corky. Corky okay. McClellan. He looks like the dude. Duke knocks out Houston. Really? I didn't think Duke was going to win. Wow. They're going to get their ass handed to him on Sunday. Oh, dude. Metal Theology says he's heard of him but never paid attention. He's a great drummer. Had to pull this out. This is a little more ham fist than down the metal, of course. To Hell the Devil, Striper. What's the one I played? It's the very last song on the record. Um, more Than a Man. I played More Than a Man off To Hell with the Devil from Striper. More Had Than a Man. The, you know. There's some, there's some slowed down clunkers on there, but the songs on To Hell with the Devil that, that kind of rip, kind of rip. I like it. So they're the ones that had the yellow and black, right? Correct. So Jim was, he was telling the story about these guys coming to play the Whiskey of Go-Go. And, you know, they had to have everything was yellow and black and all their... The yellow and black attack. But they, they come driving up in this yellow and black, like, van. Oh, really? And, you know, they get out and they've got, like... Fuzzy boots and just sure. the whole Why thing was you? just you know the night before he was doing a punk show and he, they, they didn't give a fuck and I, that he's like I so much appreciated those guys more. I wonder I wonder what life on the road with Striper was like. Has there ever been a Striper what documentary? About, what about yeah. Rat? Life on the road with Rat. He was telling me how Percy like when he was like I'm, I still got I got to do my mascara. You know it was all like. I don't have my fuzzy boots. I don't, you know. Yeah, I mean, but like, <laughs> but it, they're probably still getting fucked up and stuff. But yeah, like, we have breaking news by the way. What? State will be playing Duke. Yeah, we just we just announced that. Where you been, Jay? I was in here, okay. resting my knee. Oh, resting his knee. Hey, we can't have sex right here right now. Hey, by the way, do you have a pillow I can borrow? <laughs> Off. Not one Off. without stains on it. Off. <laughs> um. Pulled out fucking just... A lot of this was just some solid business right here. Some ZZ mm. Top from Tres Hombres. Jesus has left Chicago. What a slam bammer of a song. What a slam bammer of an album. You know I'm not going to show this without pulling up this fucking gatefold. I did have half of an adult chewable earlier. He was this playing in town uh, tonight in Greensboro. That's right, yeah. With Leonard Skinner. Uh, ZZ Top and Leonard Skinner are in, in town right now. And tickets were about 80 or 90 bucks. Okay. Didn't they tour together before? Am I stupid? Wasn't it Leonard Skinner and ZZ Top? Uh, like back, like early 2000s, late 90s? Sure. Because um, I want to say that was when I was uh, working at the Coliseum and I went in and watched some of the show. And didn't give enough of a fuck as I should have at the time, uh, honestly. Um, ZZ Top was the first concert I ever went to. Really? Oh, you saw the Deguelo tour, didn't you? Well, no, it was actually, looking back on it, I think it was the um, the one after that, which was um, uh, the, uh, they're on the fucking... With the skull. Uh, on that, it, no. It's, not the skull? No, 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 no. Deguelo is the skull. Deguelo Duelos. But they were playing all of the Deguelo, which was cool. First time I ever smelled marijuana in, oh. in, a, in a room. I still and hadn't smelled it. The, the opening band was this unknown act, uh, I don't know, called Loverboy? Oh yeah! <laughs> now I want to hear Lover Boy, dude. Out. Why don't you turn me loose? Ooh. Working for that weekend. Whew. That 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 keyboard line on working for the weekend. That shit gets me a little bit bricked up downstairs. In the Johnny Mercer Theaters was what we saw. El Loco. El Loco, thank you. Yeah, he said they were playing to Guelo because glass, El Loco yes. sucked. Yeah, yeah, it did. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, comparatively speaking, yeah. Uh, of course, I had to play. Zong gifted uh, Jay this back in the day, a little bad wow. motor finger, and uh, had to play Jesus Christ Pose to finish this off. Pretty kick-ass kick record. I don't, I'm not telling you guys anything. If you're watching the show, 
you're probably well aware that Bad Motor Finger is a pretty kick-ass uh, record. We, we attempt, last, coming up on the 20th of this month is the next um, Rock Fest, you know, our friend, mm. our friend at work. Oh, yeah. That's on. Last year, um, the band I, I got with, um, I, I suggested we do Rusty Cage. Huh. They couldn't, they couldn't hang with it. It was, really? too, it was too much. There's, there's a lot of rhythm challenges in there. Oh, if you're really? not really that good, you're going to fuck it up. But those guys were nailing Maiden and stuff like oh, that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But they live and breathe Maiden. Yeah, okay. Yeah, fair, fair. I thought that would be chump change but compared that, to doing that. Da, 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 it's 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 not as simple as you would think. Yeah. Sure. Really, my handle. Just don't get me. Don't ask me to shred. Uh, damn, Metal Thug just said bought that Soundgarden for five bucks. That's Fuck. fucking crazy. Yeah. Back in my day, Soundgarden records were hanging on trees, uphill both ways. <laughs> Uh, and then finishing this out. Sound garden. <laughs> Hanging on tree. Little, little Uma Gooma. Uma Gooma. Uma Gooma. This was actually the second Pink Floyd album I ever bought. Is this a reprise? I had the wall. And then I, you think, oh, you, Dark Side of the Moon. No, I went from the wall. I was like, I wonder what they were like. So I got Uma Gooma, which in turn opens the door to the first album. Because, you know, the, the first part of this is a live album. Yeah. And, um. Yeah, I, I love this, but this, I never play this. But the what we heard was the David Gilmour. So on sides three and four, you have everybody gets a quarter of an album, yeah, just yeah. like they did, uh, Yes did with Fragile. But um, David Gilmore's is The Narrow Way, and I love that song. I yeah. love it. It starts acoustic, it ends kind of heavy, and... But it's, it's uh, back when I bought it. Bananas was still a snooze because he wasn't paying more than a dollar for anything. You know that's that's a fair statement. I probably would have bought that, but yeah, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. You're definitely not wrong. But I, I would have probably sprung for that. Yep. Hell yeah. And of course, this does not have the Gigi. Gigi. I have. No I Gigi. actually have the Gigi rec album covers on my wall. But I don't have that shit. I was like, you know, I don't care about the fucking having listen to the music. I just want to have the album cover because yeah. that's the one you want if uh, if you have that. It's probably worth a little more. Hell yeah. They couldn't print it in the U.S. so that you get a white cover with that little Racist. album in the corner. Um, boom. Well, let me pull up some marbles. So what you been up to, Steve, while I'm doing this? Let everybody know. Well, I had an interesting doing. week. Um... I can't remember what I did Wednesday. Oh, no, I, um, Tuesday, you know, Georgia was playing, they were playing in the NIT. <laughs> so I went to my favorite, favorite little haunt. The Your guy, favorite the NIT that, the bar? place that you guys came to for my birthday party. And watched Georgia defeat, um, whoever the fuck they played. So they're in the final four at the NIT. Um, well, that's but winning, then I was like, well, it's like winning the they, special. The Olympics, game started right? at seven. You know, I still got a little time. It's a Tuesday. I know I probably shouldn't be out, but I'm gonna go down to Tate's where my friend Matt Kendrick plays every Tuesday. It's an open mic. It's a jazz open mic night, and um, he's always there. He's the host. So I went down there and hung out, and um, these guys start filing in about halfway through his second set, all bringing like you know instrument cases. Mm. I was like, oh, this, this is interesting. Because usually somebody might come up and sing a song. I, I went there during the holidays and sang a uh, Christmas or sang something. I can't remember what it was. So this is Christmas. Christmas roasted. But um, so these guys got up and they played. And it was fucking really. And I, the song they played, I recognized it. It was like, I had a trumpet going. Da 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 You know, and so it had that, you know. Something I'm very familiar with, but I don't know what the fuck it was. Straight No Chaser, I don't know. But um, they were from the School of the Arts. They were the oh. jazz ensemble. Oh, that's NC cool. NCSA jazz ensemble. And they were really, really good. And I got to talking to them. And, of course, this is what's cool about me running around all the time. Um, discovered that the flugelhorn player, the guy playing trumpet, um, has already released... A like holiday EP, and I'm looking yep. for artists to do a holiday special at the end of the year instead yeah. of the summer thing. And now's the time I'm putting the feelers out there. So this guy's, I'm, I'm really happy when somebody's already got something, not saying, "Oh, sit down and write a holiday song and then come back yeah. to me" or whatever. So, but then on last night, 
um, I went to this thing. So while I was at Tate's, I ran into a, a friend of mine who, had, who was part of the summer concert. So his name's Spencer. He is a was D- he for hire? No, he's a DJ and was telling me that on Thursday he had this thing going on. They have this thing called the compound. It's like him and two other guys. They own this like, or they they open this place. It's like a co-op where you can, you know, go in, you join monthly if you want to be a part of it. And you have access to all their tools and they have like a, a recording studio and they have a little place where, shoot, where you can shoot videos or, or you know, photos or whatever. They have a place where you can do, a, 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 you know, what we're doing, basically. What, what are we doing? What are we doing? <laughs> it was really cool, but, la- but last night they didn't do that. What's uh, up, Trish? Spencer was, was spinning vinyl. Well, while he was doing that, there were two guys selling vinyl, and I ended up with nine records. Wow. So, yeah. Okay. Is that for Dig of the Week? That's for Dig of the Week. Woo! Well, let's get in some marbles right now. Exclamation point play, folks. Exclamation point play in the chat, please. Get yourself a good spot. I, did, I think I did post a video about both of those, by the way, on Facebook. This is a uh, this is a track called Space Station, I think it is. Aaron Griffin holds the track record for us oh, at 256 and some change. So also, I didn't mention this, um, you know, I do OBS at the Fellowship, uh-huh. which is what Mike does here, OBS. That's what we run, that's what we run the program. And I know enough to get me in a lot of trouble, oh. or I did. And Sunday there was a problem and I wasn't able to fix it. We, oh, never, could, we never could get graphics up on the TV. Hey, so, the yeah, lyric, yeah. so people had to actually pull out their hymnals like back in the old days. Um, so I, I was like, fuck that. I'm going to learn this shit. So I stayed up all night. I think it was Wednesday. You stay up all night? No way. I know. I never do that. But uh, it was, I felt I needed to do it this time. Um, so I was able to get a really a better understanding of what the hell we do here. Thanks, sir. Yes, sir. And, you know, I made a little sample just to tell myself I could do it and switch it or whatever and find sources and whatever, you know. Oh, my legs are asleep. So, you know, there may be there may be a spin-off of this show coming at some point. Sure. I don't I I don't plan to do it every night. I don't plan to do it every week. But maybe What's up, Mr. B? A couple times a month would be kind of cool. Sure. Do like a music stream? It will be music. I've been telling you to do that for a long time. A lot of yeah. people make some good money on Twitch just playing music. Yeah. Especially if you're like an acoustic guy, where you don't have a lot of shenanigans to have to deal with, it's right? Just guitar. Uh, and are we in? A, are we voting? Or are we? Are we playing? Playing. Next play play point. Play. play. Get in there. Okay. There's no more voting. Yeah, I can't figure out how to vote anymore. What? They updated it, and I can't figure out how to vote on tracks anymore. So I just hit random. What f- are we? Are we in fucking Russia? I don't know, dude. You can't vote. Anyway. Actually, you can vote in Russia, <laughs> but they just go ahead and tell you. They that. just change your answer. Thanks for voting. <laughs> they just change your fucking answer. All right, let's get in here. Boom. So was it Shane that went to the? Um, I was going to mention that earlier. That museum. Uh-oh. What was that museum? It was like the Archie Bunker's chair and. The glass slippers oh, from, or the the ruby slippers. Round and round they go. And where it stops, nobody knows. And Uncle Louie's getting larger. <laughs> <laughs> no, and Leon's getting larger. Yeah, Leon. Leon. The fog's getting thicker. Did I leave the iron on? Hmm. Look at this. Now that's not bad. Uh, doing a uh, Sweetwater IPA. It's oh, Brewer's drink- Batch. Oh, you limited drinking? edition. Is that what you're doing? You're a drinker, Steve? Limited Brewer's Batch 2. Batch poop. I'm the- oh, 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 oh. Who's that guy? Hmm. Look out. He's going really slow. Everybody else is running up his ass. Scotty's trying to come up my ass. Look out! That's no, oh, but now see, that ain't right. This one's pretty cool. I like this track. This is a cool track. Whoa, 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 whoa! Like we're being shot from one IUD to another. Uh, what? That's an intrauterine device. Yeah, I know what it is. For you I... kids, for you kids that don't use birth control. Um. <laughs> But doesn't it though? Look, here, oh, oh, 
I don't know why it's not going to the front. Because all the action's in the back. It keeps going backwards. <laughs> stupid. But he's in first place. Shane. It showed Shane is in first place when you when you went there. All right, they're skinny artist out in front. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. I think you were backwards. I don't know. No, your, your camera was fucked up. Scotty's in first. Nope. Is that Pearl? I can't keep up. Long run here. Long run. Long run. What's up, Vance? How you doing, baby? Who's going to make it? We'll find out. You know, I saw a squirrel carrying a, carrying a hot dog down a tree, across a trail, and up another tree. A that, fucking hot dog. That sounds like a J story. A I'm hot dog, not a, not a hot dog, a hot dog bun. It was fucking huge. No glizzy? And I was like, how the fuck did he do that? A bun, And no where glizzy? did he get that? Because he came down a tree with a hot dog bun. <laughs> I was looking up the tree for a fucking bakery or something. <laughs> or like one of those hot dog vendors. That's a modern... Hey, no, I'm up here in a tree! That's a modern blues song. Bun, <laughs> bun no glizzy. You know, after seeing that show on Max, um, Quiet on Set, I yeah. feel... I'm, I'm very disturbed by being so close to this pickle on your desk. Uh, as a pickle boy. It's not Dan Schneider's pickle. It's Brian Peck. He was pickleball. Oh, rop, 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 rop. Let's see what kind of time this is. That does sound like a Jay story. <laughs> hey, I found your sack, by the way. My sack? Yeah. Steve? It's right behind you. <laughs> Hello. Is there anything in it? There is. There's one item in here. Is nope, there? I, I feel a patch also. Oh, uh, what's in here? Well, hang on, Vance won. You have to send it to him. Or not. <laughs> I love when people win and then they never receive it. Set right. Pearl coming in at 312. Yeah. So Aaron retains the oh, record for the record night community. Of Uncle Watson's widow. Uh, this is actually. This is hard. Shrink wrap? This is hard to come by. <laughs> you gotta send it to Vance now. Isn't there some in Underdog? Uh, maybe. You may have 10. You gotta send it to Vance now. Oh, oh, dude. I'll send it to Vance. And this, too. These were two. My uncle, my uncle Don worked for Texaco, and he was part of the Million Mile Club. Uncle Don. So there's a Million Mile Club patch and a Texaco operator patch. These are fucking awesome. That is really, really cool. Oh, that's awesome. You're a lucky man. Uncle Don was cool. He kind of was like, you know, he's like, he had like a, put that uh, a I'm going to put this down here. You know, like a crop top haircut always, even deep into the time when no one had that sure. anymore. He always wore his Texaco uniform. Like, and he would go, he'd go out in the garage, he had a Playboy like calendar on the wall, you know, and he he was breaking, everybody else was real conservative, like, you know, good Christian folk, and, and this is in, you know, south, the southern corner of Indiana near Cincinnati. But, uh, God's country. He, he'd always go out in the garage and smoke cigarette. Sure, why well, wouldn't you? Well, he'd always do it like, like this. He was squat like, down. He was like Bendy Man. Squat down. He'd always be squat down, Absolutely. smoking a cigarette. Ow, fuck. That hurt. Ow. Mm. Yeah. My dad would call that a squat down. Squat down. Just squat down. Hell so, yeah. Yeah, enjoy that. Well, let's get into a little dig of the week action. Wow. Now, if you, you got some stuff, <sighs> Steve, I'm, I'm going to sit on my business for a while. Don't leave. I'm, I'm no, no, no. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit on my business for a while and let you let you have How a little fucking... How long you sit on your business? I mean, I I'm going to do all the these. So, the first place. Is I that think a, it's is called. That, the, is think, that a license plate? <laughs> well, he didn't have a store. The first guy didn't have a store, but but um, Zonkman knew him. He's a teacher, but he also like sells vinyl on the side. He does the vinyl, the show out there in Clemens. I think he lives in the Clemens area. Um, maybe Village Vinyl. That ring a oh, bell? Oh yeah. Oh. I know that or is name. that the place on Robin Hood? That may be the place on Robin Hood. That might be the place. Oh. So anyway, um, 
Or maybe he just had a bag from some other place and gave it to me to put my records in. Um, the guy over there on Robin Hood, so I was talking to him earlier, um, he's closing in a month. Because he's, he's just said, you know, I opened up and the place floods over there. They get a lot of uh, vinyl fetish. A space for vinyl. Yeah, really nice uh, poster he made there. Uh, but yeah, I, I, cool. I, I think we should go by there before he closes and see if we can, like... Because I, I, did, I did look through his, his stuff and he had a lot of jazz records. Um, a couple of these I bought on his recommendation and then... But he, I went through his records and got a few. <coughs> and then he said, well, you should come back and look under the table. I got, like, $3 records, two for five. And I went back there and looked after buying all my records, and that's where all I told him I said, "Dude, all all your best records are down here." The yeah. I thought I thought because I got some really cool shit. So anyway, um, here's I don't know anything about this one, but Original Diddy. with upcoming 420, that, are you doing a 420 episode on the, on the 19th. I got a gig on the 20th. What? Um, this one had a song. What was it called? Let's go get stoned. What? Everyone's gone to the moon and other trips. The T Bones. Wow! What the fuck? <laughs> wow. Yeah. Um, Have you listened to this? No, I, I didn't listen to any of these yet. Okay. I know, it's... They did. A, they're they're known for like one song. This I is think. Liberty Records. You know, a year on this, dude. No, I don't know anything besides what I can read off here with my bad glasses on. Maybe I'll put my good glasses on, so I might That's be it. able to help. Truth is out. The T bones are definitely a phenomenon. Mm -hmm. Phenomenon predictability and un, un, no, un predictably yeah. unpredictable. Predictably, oh, that's a great. They have taken care of your stomach and they let you sip and chip. Hold that fucking <laughs> <laughs> sip and chip. Let's wrong segment. Let's hold that fucking phone. I'm not kidding. In the description, it says they have taken care of your stomach and then they let you sip and chip. By now, everyone's trying to figure out what they'll do next. Agreed. Uh, well, they've done it. In fact, they've really taken off and are in orbit as they swing through how high the moon kicks, paint it black, etc. Oh, so they're playing like other people should. Covered. Uh, we don't want to frighten you by saying that after you hear this record, you too will be in orbit, but who knows? Sure. Jesus. Yeah. What is that sentence, though? <laughs> I'm so fixated on that sentence, I just, I I'm, I'm beside myself. All right, uh, the next up, one Merv? here. Merv said they did an Alka Seltzer commercial. The cover grabbed me. Interesting. Um, this is called Red Pepper Hot. Duke. Tumato or Tumato and the All Star Frogs. What the fuck? I don't know. She looks like she's having a baby. Hell yeah, boy. <laughs> Vagina. <laughs> just, drop, just drop it wherever you feel. It looks like it. she can't be too concerned with having a baby. She's okay. just over it. All right. Oh, here's that guy. I'm done with it. Uh, uh, Brian Hunt is his name. Okay. There's his card. That Red doesn't pepper fit hot. In my Jesus. card holder. <laughs> That's a nice looking van. Yeah. That guy in the front's thrusting his thorax a little too forward for my liking, to be honest, but sure. Oh, shit. Yeah. All right. Um, <sighs> Made me a little uncomfortable. Don Sebesky, CTI. Oh, but yeah. You got Brecker Brothers. Both Brecker Brothers play on this. Okay. The Rape of El Moro. The fuck? <laughs> I love a we, good rape record. We doing rape records now? It's, <laughs> it's fucking Easter weekend, Steve, for fuck's sake. Very appropriate. That's. Uh, what? I think. I don't know. CTI. It's got a gay phone. I don't know what's in there. Probably some information. Probably some fucking. I mean. Oh, even better than fucking. We got something better than fucking right up Metal Theologian's alley. Fried chicken? Look at this fucking mustache. Oh, Subesky, yeah. Let's just take a moment for this stash. I think right I got there. these I got those glasses on right now. This is the <laughs> color version of that black and white. It's crazy. Porn stash. Right um, here's one that was only 
three dollars. Sure. I got two for five, so it was two fifty because it didn't have a cover. This is Monk's Miracles, Thelonious Monk. Oh wow. It's a, cool. it's a repress, I think. That's the record club. Columbia, Columbia Record Club. Columbia Record Club, okay. But two fifty for that? And that's the yeah. only reason it was two fifty is because it didn't have a cover. Is this like a fifties monk? Uh, I bet Metal Theologian could tell you. While I go to my phone. I mean, you, well, you need it. Uh, Beshma Swing. Did you say I'm in you? Like Peter Frampton, I'm in you? Buy ya. Corpuscle with Kelly. That's not what it says, but I read it that way. Four and one. Oh, Metal Theologian says the Duke Tur Tomato's blues shit. <laughs> he hates blues. I can't wait for some blues. Look, there's a, there's a song on this called Stuffy Turkey. <laughs> sure. Save it for Thanksgiving. Yeah. Time for Stuffy Turkey. Do, do you do an Easter meal? I oh, no. I, I mean, when, when Mom used to cook a ham. I think we do this. this the year, Jesus ham. We do like a ham and macaroni and cheese and, uh, you know. Some All right, here's one for you on MCA Music. The Roots Phrenology Clean oh, Mix nice. Show Album Sampler. Oh yeah. So it's not like a one song with ten different mixes of it. It's a, it's an actual album. This is the full album. I don't I don't have no idea. I don't know anything about you know. It's not my area of expertise. But tonight show. I was really phrenology. really happy to get a Roots album for what two fifty, or how much was that? Yeah, two fifty. Oh, it's, uh, it's got Rocky, it's got Rolling with Heat, it's got uh, Talib Kweli and uh, Dice Raw on this. Okay. Um, Tracy Moore, Jazz Fastiness. Yeah. Now, here's the From one that... 2002. This was the last one I got, because this is the one he, he thought off the bat I would want, but I kept skipping on it. He's like, oh, I think you really like that. So this is some weird um, 2018 Ome... It's like these Japanese folks or something. I don't, I'm not sure what's going on here. Hey! Uh, it's called Parts. I, I just, I'm dying to hear a song called Grandmother. <laughs> sure. Um, maybe he's, maybe 2018? He's, maybe he's just really trying to get rid of that record. Wow. That's, <laughs> that cover is stark, Steve. <laughs> that's... While he was talking, I was, ah! I was thinking, I was thinking it had a, he, he kept fuck? talking a lot to me like it was going to have like this. I don't know, 80s feel or, or like a cent, like a cent pop record, television or something. or something. I don't, I don't know. And she hit beings. It's got bass clarinet on it, cello. I oh shit! Know. You have I, lamb on Easter uh, Vance? Interesting. Lamb. I mean, that makes sense. Well, that's, lamb's what you probably should have. That makes right? sense. How about a little them? Oh yeah. I think this. I don't think it's an OG. It looks kind of cool though. I don't know. Maybe this. Um. <laughs> Did you know that tracks uh, one and nine were produced by Dick Rowe? Uh -huh. Tommy Scott. Um, this is from it's a compilation. Uh, that's a repress from 1984. Tommy Scott as in Tom Scott? Uh, probably not. Well, I don't know. When it first came out, that would be prior to Tom Scott. Anybody knew who the fuck he was? My dad was a big Tom Scott guy when I was a kid. I fucking hated it. Yeah. God, I hated it. Jeez. My dad loved Tom Scott. I, that just that just unlocked a fucking memory right there, actually. So I'm sure Jimmy Page plays on a lot of this shit right here. But he doesn't get any credit on it. He's a studio musician. Uh, here's one more. Um, I believe this is LCD Sound System's uh, debut oh. EP. Wow. It's called... Uh, Losing my edge and beat connection. So it's, it a, it's really it's an EP. It's not there's not much on there. Is it a promo cop? No, it's got a hype sticker. On no, it's got it's got the D, DFA stick uh, label on it. Wow, that's cool. Never seen that. No. Yep. In a profile jacket with a fucking hype sticker. Yep. You know what year that is? Or around? No, I don't. I'm just curious. I don't know how long, how far back they go. Let's say it's uh, 2008. I have no idea. Well, that's really hard. I to can read. read it though. I got my glasses. Oh, you got glasses. I've got them, but it's Look still glasses, man. It's really hard to read though. Unless it says it up here on the fucking hype sticker. I don't know. Anyway. Hype, hype, hype. Ninety-eight. 
MT says. Oh, 98. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh huh, uh huh. James Murphy from the LCD Sounds. Last but not least, it's all this. And I was like, what the fuck? Okay. Uh, Stone Temple. T- it's a reissue. Oh, um, that was his guess. He didn't, he didn't. Blue with white <laughs> splatter. The purple album by yeah. the Stone Temple Pilots. You have that, don't you? I don't. Oh, you don't? I'm not a huge fan anymore. Okay. I respect them, but... Uh, Overplayed. I just kind of got burnt out on it. But uh, that's crazy. That. Oh, yeah. When is this? Made in Italy. Yeah. It- and that it- one was from, from the guy, Brian. Yeah. That's cool. And you recently picked up Core, did you not? Not too long ago, yeah. Yeah. And I was really, every time I go to, like, somewhere, I always go to, you know, see if there's any Stone Temple Pilots, because I didn't have any. Now I have yeah. the two most popular ones. Yeah. I played the absolute... Good. And I'm good. Like, like <laughs> I had Core on CD, and Cameraman had Purple. And we both, like, between the two of us, we played the absolute piss out of both of those albums yeah. back in the day. And that's, it's kind of like Rage Against the Machine, to where I just, I completely burned myself out on it. Yeah. To where I'm like, yeah. I love the band, but I'm just kind of over it. Um... But yeah, hell yeah, badass. So I did really well yesterday doing a little digging. Fuck yeah. You want to throw in any uh, dig song? Oh, I mean, I can't since you're there. Did you want to do the swap or whatever? Yeah, yeah. how many you got? Uh, five. You bust them out real quick. Yeah, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me get out of your way. You can get ready for, uh, so to speak, chip chat, Steve. <laughs> okay, I'll go in there and um, have, have a glass of tea and just, you know, chill and wait for everything. Have a glass of tea, huh? Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know if you need any tea, Steve. Oh, no, you're good. You, uh, you could have left that. You're not leaving, are you, Jay? <laughs> Is Jay already gone? Yeah. Oh, of course. <laughs> Yeah, what'd you, uh, what'd you pull out this week? Okay, well, I'm doing the uh, uh, <clears throat> 1,000 mods. This is a, uh, I did an order with Heavy Psych Sounds. You know, that's one of the oh, labels yeah. we talk about. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, loving, loving. And I did the whole, I guess I'm just going to pull out all these. I did like the package for 1,000 mods. Nice. So I got the t-shirt. Actually, a bag, too. I don't have to show the bag. It's the same logo as a t-shirt. We're going to start with the f- the first album. Super Van Vacation. Killer stoner stuff. Dude, if you've never heard 1,000 Mods, do yourself a fucking favor. Where are they out of? What? Greece. Greece. Yeah, yeah. And the stuff is really hard to get in the States. I mean, without having to pay up and stuff. So it's kind of cool that... Because the their old, the label was different too, so evidently they've switched over to Heavy Psych Sounds and they reissued all this stuff. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this, this is like Caius worship. Yeah, totally. Can we get the logo of Jay's head covering up Zonk? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we got. And dude, I swear, like some of this stuff on Super Van Vacation. It even sounds like John John Garcia's uh, vocals. Yeah, they. It's oh, funny. Some of those of European it. bands were like all over. Um, that Caius worship shit, hundred percent. And this is the <laughs> second album, Vultures. Still good stone or something like maybe two thousand fourteen. I don't know if I know this one as much. I that first one I, I really know. Yeah, I don't either. Hell yeah! Bam bam. So they had like a like a, almost like a box set thing going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like just pack, uh, get their whole discography the plus a T-shirt they call and shit that like that. Damn. Uh, fuck, I forget what they call that when they damn put them all together. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, it's a package. This is uh, repeated. Oh yeah, this band said fellow Greeks seen them last summer. Hell yeah. Oh shit! So they were in the states. The United and, States. The United States. Correct. Oh, so I don't know if that cool might cover. be 2017. That's a cool oh, cover, man. Not Abraham. Really cool cover. I like that a lot. And then 2020, Youth of Dissent. That's the only album that was like different. Yeah, it wasn't yeah, completely that one. stoner. Yeah, they get a little kind of off the off the beaten path on this one a little bit. 
Um, still, I, they do some really cool artwork with their shit. And yeah, if you love that, like, down the middle, like, stoner vibe stuff, Thousand Mods is, like, gotta check them out, man. That's cool. To pick all these up at one time, that's that's really fucking cool. Now, one thing I did want to talk about, I don't know how well it'll show, but I got the box. The box looked like it could have been retaped. Oh, really? And then, I don't know how well that's going to show. Oh, yeah. Bam! Damn. So all the corners got smashed, and I was like so pissed off. I like threw the box. I told the wife, I said, "I'm done collecting records." Oh shit! Yeah, that's <laughs> rough. And she just said, "Oh hell no." Uh, uh, yeah, um, she knew better. Right. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to show the CDs too. So I got oh, the vinyl, with... the CDs, the bag, the T-shirt. Wow. Yeah. Fucking a, dude. And then. This is like a bonus. Tell Steve to check out the songwriting credit on Let's Go Get Stoned. Okay. You actually showed this was brand new a month or so ago. The shrink's still on it. Big Scenic Nowhere, oh, yeah, yeah. The Way Down. So that's a brand new record of kind of that uh, super not, group. Are they not the original band do kicks? Kicks getting keep getting Poop. harder to find. You know the kicks gonna do. Oh, I don't know. They do. Kicks is on this album. Uh, Killer. Oh, album Ashford here. Simpson. Ashford Simpson. Yeah, baby. Oh damn. That's. Look at that back cover. That's cool too. <laughs> Hell yeah! So what is this? What does this sound like? Um, you know what? I don't think I listened to all the. I remember listening to mods. it, but I don't remember listening to it. <laughs> it's one of the. I have one another one. I have another big scenic nowhere, and it is. I mean, these are the guys that are are from the desert. I forget who's in this. Yeah. It's not Lolly, but it's like a super group of the whole desert desert rock scene, and that's it, man. We'll let. Uh, the fever. Oh, is this, this is the one that's got. Um, oh, cool! You get it. That's got a uh, homeboy from uh, Yawning Man. Yeah, the guitar player, uh, Arse. Arse. Gary Arse. Gary Arse. Um, yeah, that's it. Gary Arse, Bob Balch from Fu Manchu, Bill Stinson, and Tony Reed. Since you Bob Balch. I want that Yawning Balch album, too. Oh, yeah. Which is going to be... So, yeah. The list is endless. Hell, yeah. More more stoner stuff. But, no, I just wanted to show that. Stay, stay there. We'll go to oh. commercial break. Stay, stay there. Pissed off about the damn damage. That's, dude, I ran into that same problem. I had an order. In it. And uh, were you interested in contacting them and being like, hey, we no. you send my shit? Vinyl you know, looked fine, so... I actually reached out to a company that uh, did that to me on a couple of records, and I never heard back from them, which really pissed me off. Um, and I just kept the records, and you're right, like, you know, it's one of those things where I always say, it's, you know, it's doesn't matter what the cover looks like as long as the record plays fine. <clears throat> but I was just pissed off. I felt like I got taken, and, right. you know, it's like, I don't want any fucking special treatment. Just send me... I'll send you the busted one back, just... Well, whatever. I, right, I mean, you don't even yeah. want to deal with that hassle anymore. Yeah, and it was just kind of shitty because it was kind of a lower key label, and I, you know, I just expected a little, a little communication, if nothing. You know, like telling me to fuck off. They didn't right. tell me to fuck off. <laughs> I, I would have taken that over like just ignoring my fucking emails and shit. But whatever, you know. And that's unfortunately that's the game you play with like mail order shit, and I. That's why I love supporting local record stores for sure but then you hit a certain point in your collection like you know I'm there now where it's like Look at I'll, I'll cherry pick things that pop up in my local spot right but if it's something I'm specifically after I'm gonna go online and pick it up right. at the place where it's the cheapest and whatever and um, yeah I mean relatively speaking gone are the days where I just kind of well that's not 100% true but like walking in and just I came out with 10 records that I'd didn't even know I was headed in there for. Right. That I had no idea. I, you know, and I kind of right. miss those days, but also, it's also good to be a little, a little bit discerning at some point to like kind of keep the collection in check. 
as I've finally gotten my stuff to a place where I can like breathe a little bit. Yeah, no, I don't want to be coming in here with time to add more. I don't want to come in here with thirty Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. come on, yeah. dirty malls. Yeah, hit the, it's hit coming. The... I mean, eventually. But uh, hey, we're gonna take a quick commercial break. Come back with a soda speaking chick chat, chick chat, chick chat, Fuck. A chick chat, motherfucker, chicklet chat. Um, yeah, so everybody, uh, just. <laughs> Keep it parked for a few minutes, and we'll be right back here with the uh, Dude, with the Southern Spring Chip Chat. Flies flying around in here. Grown man record ought to be back in a minute. Stick around. I hereby dub you the Easter Bunny. Wednesday, a special family presentation narrated by Fred Astaire. The Easter Bunny is coming to town today. Let's all have a happy Easter. The Easter Bunny's coming to town. Hey, Dudley Rabbit here. Easter's almost here, so hurry up with those eggs. Clara Clucker. Dudley asked me to tell all you moms about his new improved shaken egg. It makes Easter eggs that are downright egg-siding. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> so, well, come on, Mom, I'll show you. Just pour Dudley's dazzling new dye mix into the shaker bag. Now dip a hard-boiled egg in warm water, put it in the bag, and just shake away. <laughs> Isn't that fun? <laughs> Oh, and here's what's new. Dudley's new formula dies and dries instantly, right in the bag. Have you ever seen such wonderful colors? So, Mom, take it from me, Clara Clucker, and this year get Dudley's own shaken egg, the better-than-ever way to color Easter eggs. And look for Clara Clucker's happy Easter egg, the colorful giant blow-up egg with pictures of me and all my Easter friends at fine stores everywhere. Next. Sorry. This Easter, lots of bunnies are trying to be the Cadbury bunny. But there's only one Cadbury bunny. And he brings the two candies perfect for Easter. Cadbury's mini eggs with their sugar shell and milk chocolate inside. And Cadbury's cream eggs with their chocolate shell and creamy filling. Which is why no bunny knows Easter better than him. Messages. Pa's really gets things rolling. Pa's makes the family fun. Open the Easter egg color kit, and the good times have just begun. Drop a colored tablet into vinegar and cold water. Then dip a hard-boiled egg for a rainbow of beautiful Easter colors. Pa's really gets things rolling. We rub our egg holders too. Oh, cotton. So pick up a Paws Easter Egg Color Kit and really get things rolling. It's me up in me up in the mountains in North Carolina looking at the trees. Talk to me. What the fuck? The, secu the Peter Gabriel security album. Charisma. <clears throat> oh no, that's a fucking label. I have the touch. That Riz? You got that Riz? Where's the, Plays where's the listing? <coughs> Birdie? All right. We're back on the internet, so everybody can put their phone. The internet. Shock the monkey. The, it's the fucking first song on security. You owe me, you owe me, what did we say, 50 bucks? <laughs> mm. <laughs> it's tough sledding. Security, I didn't even fail that. Anyway. All right. The white Zoid of the 80s, please send me. Jesus Christ. Fucking people are tweaking. People are tweaking. So we have a little, so to speak, uh, action coming. You know, I was afraid. I saw something I don't think we've done, but I was afraid it was the one you were going to bring tonight. Um, but it wasn't. I don't think so. And we may have done it, and I don't remember it. But, uh, yeah, anyway, we'll, we'll go into this. So tell me about what we got here. Well, I was going to look oh, it we up. We should do the intro. Sorry. Can't do the intro. Can't do the intro. <laughs> So 
でスプルーフィー。There we go.、Uh, let me kill this bear first. Oh, sure. Bears are made to be killed. It was one swallow. I'm still not drinking, drinking. You need a freshie? I'm okay for right now, so I'm going to appreciate it. Well, um, so what'd you bring here, Steve? I brought a Mountain Dew. They keep coming out with Mountain Dews. Yeah. Uh, we haven't done this one.、Okay. It just came out. It's called Laguna Lemonade. Okay.、Uh, let's see、dude. what people say about it. <clears throat> It's a Baja. It's a Baja. It's one of the Baja flavors. Baja. 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 Dive into exhilarating flavors with Mountain Dew Baja Laguna Lemonade. This 20 ounce bottle is more, like, more than a beverage, it's an escape. The iconic taste of Mountain Dew meets the zest of lemonade. Every sip is an adventure. Okay. So it's a lemonade version of Mountain Dew. So As you one, know, it's an orange drink. The one I saw today was a fruit punch. I think we've done that. Okay. Or maybe not. Was it purple? Nope. We did that. It was fruit punch. Last、like、time I was、red. here, we did a, the purple one. It's red like fruit punch. Okay. But it says Baja, like Baja fruit punch. So it may be part of the series. We did purple glass last time we were here. It does have that Baja kick. <clears throat> Thought Mountain Dew was supposed to be lemon lime. It is, but the, the base soda is orange. Orange. Yeah. It's yellow, like citrus, or, or well, of course, orange is citrus, but like, like lemonade or. <coughs> That's pretty good. You want to try it? Oh, good. That is good. It has a peachy it has a peachy flavor. I was saying that there was something.、Uh, Very peachy. There's something else in there. Mango, maybe?、Uh, mango. That's what I taste. Yeah. More than lemonade. Yeah, I don't taste the lemonade. Lemonade's not pronounced at all. I don't know why they call it. Lemonade's a very. It is, a, it, it is more of a mango peachy color, though. And, and, and lemonade is a very. I love a lemonade, but my one gripe about lemonade is it's, it's such an overbearing, overpowering flavor a lot of times. I like that. So I like, like a lot of times, my mom does the same thing. She does it with oranges too. Like, orange juice is, can be too, it's too much. Yeah. So my mom cuts it with water. Like a Sunny D. Yeah, I'm just taking orange juice. Or tang. And, yeah. And,、um, For you old folks like me. She does the same thing with lemonade, and I do the same, like, because a lot of lemonade is just too, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just too much. Country time. Too much lemon, too much sugar, too much everything. Do they still, do they still sell、everything. country time lemonade? I think so. That's Coca Cola, I believe, or Pepsi, one of the two. I believe it's a Coca Cola product.、Hmm. Um, <clears throat> so it's like lemon with that added lemon. But yeah, but this isn't. I mean, I, I taste, again, that, I taste. That's not what they sold it as. Yeah. It's more like a mango. I guess there's lemonade. It doesn't taste like lemonade, though. I don't get lemonade from this at all. At all. It's not a good, it's not a bad soda. Just the writers did terrible not, job.、Uh, the write up was bad. Yeah, because I was—I mean, I would think because we've done some carbonated lemonade stuff before, and some of that、uh, th those European carbonated lemonade, the sparkling lemonades、yeah. they call them, those are very Pellegrino. Those are、oh、very、God. good. Those are good. A lot of those, the French ones, they come in the, the tall glass bottles, got the cork in the top and shit. Those are like bougie fucking sodas, if you want to call that a soda. It's a sparkle, so yeah, it's a soda. Reginald. But、um, yeah, it's pretty good. It doesn't blow me away, but it's not bad either. I'll go anywhere. Although I instantly. I'll go anywhere, a mango. <laughs> it's raining mango. Hallelujah. <laughs> it's raining mango.、Uh, but yeah, I, although I instantly have heartburn from that. For this? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, whatever.、Yeah. Okay. Orange juice gives me immediate、um, very heartburn. Acidic, very acidic. I can't actually when、uh, when Mr. Weinbender was up here, he, he's a big gin guy. So we did some gin and juice,、mm -hmm. drop some sparkling shit in here. We mix some cocktails, whatever. And he went home on Sunday or whatever. And I was sitting here and I was thirsty as fuck in the afternoon, like recovering day、uh, day after. And I was like, oh man, he left this whole jug of orange juice in here. Man, it's been a long time since I had a. Tall, cold glass of OJ. So I'm gonna sit down with a no booze or nothing, just a nice glass of OJ. I poured a full cup of it, right? I mean, a big cup. And I took like two sips and I was like folded over on the just like, oh my 
God. Like, it was killing me that bad. Hmm. It was like swallowing a match. <laughs> so whatever it is, my body does not process orange juice very well. Anyway, hmm. that's that's what we call an aside in the business. Oh. Sure. Uh, let's get into a little chip chat action. Now, uh, we got a few still in the hopper, but Steve brought a little something special tonight, and we'll take a look at that momentarily. Potato chips. How my Excesso calor calor calorious. Excesso. Excesso. There's a lot of stuff on the chip, is what you're saying. Uh, oh, thick. Pompous. Um, look at that. Es delicioso. Ah! Oh, Sting City. Yeah. Yeah. The intro, no sound. Yeah, you know what's fucked up, man? It's not that... Sound. When I bring that one over for whatever reason, you see here how desktop audio is always... Yeah, getting yeah. into OBS. Uh, uh, yeah. So this is um this is the music we're playing underneath yeah. this from YouTube Anything right here. That, yeah. Right? And so for whatever <laughs> reason, and it's the only scene that does this, when I go to the chip chat open, look, I'll do it again. Watch what happens. What see, it puts it at the top? Yep. Yeah. That's the only thing I click that puts something above that. So for the rest of my whole life and existence, desktop audio is always on top. So when I go to a thing and I want to play, I always mute desktop audio. Boom. Oh. But you're muting the... So I end up muting the whatever's fucking... Whatever's coming in, top, top shot. Just chip chat. It's huh. the only one that does that. Let's see weird. if we go to so to speak. Watch. It's down here. It's below. Yeah. Why is it above? I don't know. I don't know why it does that above, but it does. <clears throat> Whatever. There's some setting. It's always about a setting. It's just in the way, I guess, where it's layered somewhere. I don't know. Anyway. Yep. Um, yeah, that's a how the sausage is made. So I saw this uh, in the store just uh, a couple days ago. Okay. I thought, you know what? Sure. I'm going to buy me a bag of chips. Okay. I like, th I like that. I like that out of you, Steve. That's good work. This is the Lay's uh, Funyun. Oh, but they've they've upgraded it, and you know Funyun, they did do it. Their a, credit, a, to their credit, they put it on the bottom shelf where it belongs, ne right next to Munchos. But they don't get rid of it because they know there's a there's a demand for that one little product, Funyuns and Munchos. Yeah, but it's their least selling items in the whole. You think? Oh yeah, Arsenal. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. <clears throat> I love Funyuns. They cut the fuck out of your mouth. This is Funyuns. Spicy queso. A couple of years ago, Lay's did their Funyun, Funyun flavored Lay's. Yeah. Which were ideal because they didn't cut the fuck out of your mouth. These are cutters, probably. These are cutters. <laughs> Onion flavored rings. Hot take. So let me, there's a little read back here. Okay. I'll read you okay. a dish, deliciously different snack that's spicy fun. Finally, the zesty taste of Funyun's onion-flavored rings you've known for years has met its bold match. Spicy queso-flavored Funyun's onion-flavored rings deliver the crispy texture and shape of an onion ring. Spicy queso-flavored Funyun's are fun snack that you and your family will eat anywhere and enjoy with your favorite foods. I don't have a family. If you're up for some spice, they're great for picnics, parties, and lunches. Of course they are. Are you ready for the classic combo of jalapeno and cheese flavors oh. that runs rings around other snacks? Ah, I'll see what they did there. <laughs> Very clever. Okay. Also, uh, please, please put this cap back on this. This is making me nervous. Yeah, I, I don't know what to do with it. That's, that's making me nervous. I smell, I smell the cheesy. Let's, let's take that. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll find it. Um, hot, right take, here. hot take before oh, I try you. this. Thanks. Hot take. Come on here. Oh wow. Why does it taste like a sesame stick? You taste that? A little bit. What is that? What's up, Sean? I like that. These are really fucking good. This is what you need to do with Funyuns. That is what you need to do with Funyuns. Now, 
my hot take was going to be. I'll take wise onion rings over Funyuns all day long. If you're comparing apples to apples, the base flavors, yeah. I think Waz's onion rings are by far superior more oniony. in flavor to these, yeah. and they don't cut the roof of your mouth like this. But these spicy queso is another animal. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. Could be a little more spicy, I think. They got a little spice to them. Spicy is not a good word. I mean, put some spice in them. Queso smooths out some of the spicy. Yeah. Hey, what would you dip the OG Funyuns in if you had to? Mmm. Huh. I mean, I think the, the ham-fisted down the middle would be a French onion dip. What about... What about a cheese dip like you get at a Mexican restaurant? Mmm. Like an actual queso. Like these. And that's what this is, but even amplify it. I would say, I would. Or that jalapeno dip you get from Frito Lay. That the red, cheese and red, jalapeno. red can. Yeah. Um, normally, I would be trying to find the weirdest shit possible to answer that question. But I think I have to go down the middle and say, like, a French onion dip. I think would be really good on a, on a, fun, a plain Funyun. I think it would complement it and just. You could do other things, but I think that'd probably be the best. Maybe. No. Blue cheese dip. I'd like to add an addendum to that. An addendum? The, um, the homemade ranch dip that Jay makes. Can you tell Jay me makes a ranch me? dip? Oh, yeah. It's the, it's the one where you we have like a block of sour cream or whatever. You drop the, the yeah, powder pack of the, ranch. It's the um, Hidden Valley. The Hidden Valley dip yeah. mix. That. That with Funyuns would be God tier. Pimento cheese? That wouldn't be bad either. <laughs> that no, would be bad pimento either. Pimento cheese would be great. That's, that's what we call the caviar of the South down here. <laughs> Mm. Yeah. Good. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good chip. For being, it's not a bougie chip. It's not a weird, you know, crazy like boutique brand. But that's got some promise. I'll just go ahead and throw it out there for Sweet Tea to possibly mark this as a chip of the year candidate. It's early going. I just want to go ahead and get it marked in red on the sheet. So when Sweet Tea goes back and watches this, this is something to consider later on in the year when we're thinking about candidates for Chip of the Year. Because this is, it's that good. It really is that good. <laughs> yeah, please, please do that. Steve. Yeah, do your stuff. They fit perfectly. Hold on. Yeah. I had to probably do it from the inside, though. So. Those are... And Steve's going to be out on Monday because of pink eye. <laughs> Yeah, let's not do that. <laughs> you come in Monday, your eyes are swelled shut. You got crust and shit dripping off of it. I don't know what happened. Uh, I was trying to make eyeglasses out of Funyuns. <laughs> <laughs> it was the Steve Lennon glasses. <laughs> also, I'm 60 and a, fa a father of several, and uh, yeah, I was trying to make glasses out of Funyuns. <laughs> sure. Sure. I was a good one. Uh... Did you guys discuss Mr. Com uh, Combs? Oh, uh, just briefly, I was I was gonna play. Uh, I was I thought that I thought that said combos for a second, and I was because <laughs> we're on chip chat. Boy, I could fuck up some combos right now. <laughs> I could cause a fucking spectacle, like getting escorted out of the mall spectacle. Uh, with some <laughs> combos right now, but no, we uh. just uh, I briefly mentioned I was gonna play. Um, Mo money, mo problems. Earlier, uh, the single for uh, mm. for Diddy for Diddy and things. What's up with Diddy? What? What's up with Diddy? You hadn't seen that? No. This week? No. They raided both of his houses. Oh, that I saw that. Okay. I don't know what they're doing. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, he's yeah. There's stuff going on. 
Good lord, the, never mind. I'm not even gonna get it. The, the, not that, but the, uh, the, the uh, most of what I've seen dealing with that is uh, I love Twitter. I spend more time on Twitter than I do probably any other social media platform. Not even not posting or anything, which we do have a record night over there. But like uh, just reading shit. And the, there's two tabs on Twitter. There's one that's like people that you follow. You mean X? Yes, X J. Um, <laughs> But it's like, uh, yeah. f- for me, it's like... Before you. No, yeah, but the, the following is basically like, it's like music stuff, it's gaming stuff, it's streaming stuff. It's like the stuff that I follow. So it's things that you follow. It's things that I follow. <laughs> now, let's, over... Let's make this clear. But, but it's like, that's following all Following is. is like what you follow. Yeah, and that's what I... I'm, just to say, that's what I follow for this channel on that. And I, that's all I ever fucked with. And then I clicked over to like for you, Jesus Christ, the oh. amount of stuff and the amount of like conspiracy theories that I see on there that people like latch onto. Well, that's the playlist they've always put in the for you area. Wow. I mean, like video of like the uh, like everybody saying like the uh, the ship that hit the bridge in Maryland. It's like yeah, but if you. If you watch the video back, look, these ducks are in the corner and then they disappear. And I'm like, you guys are fucking retarded. (laughs) This is so fucking stupid. And the con, I'm expecting people to get roasting the the poster in the comments. And they're like, yep, that's how you get the fucking, yep. I'm like, (laughs) what? No. Anyway, uh, but I I see a lot of my, my Diddy news was from in there. A lot of more shit's coming. And the fucking Illuminati is gonna like, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyway, he's got the he's got the deets on everybody. And now by mentioning it, I'm on that fucking hit list. So I'm scared about it. I weep for the stupidity of my species. Yeah, hundred percent, dude. It's it that I'd never more have felt that way than after clicking on that fucking for me section of Twitter with the amount of nonsense. I'm like, man, and. There's so many people that are dead fucking serious. The same way, like, politically, on both sides. With their fucking hardcore grabbing onto it and squeezing it. (laughs) Or the ones... You see me walking into an elevator. What do you do? (laughs) I'm sure you get a few of those. Sure. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, yeah, they clicked... That's the other thing. I started clicking. I'm like, oh, this is fucking porn. I mean, like, just... If you click the replies, it's people just fucking yep. like. Uh, I don't want to see that guy's dick. I uh, nope. <laughs> and, and judging the by the replies, are the replies are funny. Some of them are funny. It's like, and, why would you reply to that? And, and, <laughs> There's my reply. And judging by your cock, I'm gonna say you're probably Eastern <laughs> European. Uh, well, um, all right, we're going back over to Twitch for a little bit. Play a couple record albums. We're not being late tonight. That fucks me up, so we're just gonna we're gonna play some records and end it off on a nice note over on Twitch. Appreciate you, everybody. You gonna hit some golf balls this weekend? Uh, we're talking about doing a little bit tomorrow, maybe. maybe Jay wants to do it Sunday, but uh, Sundays. I don't know. <sighs> I, I like to spend Sunday wallowing in my own misery. And Sunday's also going to be the the final round of the Elite Eight. Well, and I have to. Uh, it's Easter, so I have, I'm going to Easter. Yeah. Really? Yeah, on Sunday. This this weekend? Uh huh. That's why I played the Jesus records. I, I know it's an early Easter for me. Yeah, I got I got to eat lunch with my mama and shit like that. Sure. So that, that's gonna. She baking she baking a ham. Doing a ham, little macaroni and cheese, you know, some other stuff. Yeah. Have some fun. Some apple rings. I'll get some uh uh get an Easter basket. Really? Every year, hundred percent. It's always got toys in it too. I used to go. I mean, that's where the pickle came from. My mom, pickle boy. My mom always uh, gets me cool toys like the pickle. We'll catch you over on Twitch. Thanks for hanging out, folks. We'll catch you next time. Have a good weekend, everybody. Well, yeah, yep. Mm-hmm.